Bro! That is that is a rough clip. But it's also a self-report. He goes, I bought the I bought this clothing. I don't want anyone to say anything. You know. And so like if I buy a little CP, what's the difference? So Where the f did he even get these clips from? Where is this from, bro? This is crazy. You know, if he's the horse and the horse is fing a kid. You know. <laughs> that's kinda what it is there, brother. No. Knowing now that that artist is a lollicon, yeah, I can see it. <laughs> I mean, it. I see, bro, like, I, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Dude, oh, come on. So now that we've gotten all that shit, we got our uus out of the way. Um, now let's look at his. Um, okay, I put together what I consider to be the iron claw. This is you cannot escape. This body of evidence. I'll that probably I'm about skip to the last bit. Just There's a few clips from yesterday or Friday show, which I'm going to include. It's just minutes. one minute so that we have it all together. After I show this refresher, I've got tons of clips that I'm going to show you that I have not seen and that we did not oh, talk man, about. It's still so much to go episode. And I personally don't believe any reasonable person can walk away from this drawing any other conclusion that this guy has an. an okay, that's wonderful. An, an, but how do I make a not innocent curiosity and interest in child. Team child oh, oh, this is the new kid, isn't it? They caused irreparable damage to Vosh's reputation by trying to help. Yes, exactly. Nicholas Diori, thank you for the 499. Tipples. <laughs> We, why did they do that? Why? They were so stupid. If I was in Vosh's position, I would put the word out, guys, don't offend me. Okay, this is a fucking rough pill to swallow. I'll just try and navigate this as best they can. As best I can. But they decided to go out of their way to not only defend him, but making terrible arguments, too. Or drawn or otherwise. Let me know, because I got a fucking files on top of files <laughs> to swing back at. So that's a huge statement. So let's just watch. Let's just watch and listen. So here is a brief um, retelling from yesterday. It's just one minute long. There's some great ones in here, so I didn't want to go without them. Roll it. This is from the YouTube Police Department. I think that that... Uh, we showed this yesterday, but one more time. Would consuming child porn be legal? I think that that would be, yes, more legal and more ethically consistent. Yes, 100%. Listen very carefully to the exact language that I use. I have yet to hear a convincing moral or legal <laughs> argument as to why possession of child pornography should be illegal. The argument that I was making, and I've made this argument a bunch of times... And I you know, it's funny. In this video, he shows the context. The guy shows the context that he keeps saying they didn't show. He goes, I was just saying that uh, cobalt farming is fucked up, too. Address this poorly made argument a bunch of times here. Why is the possession of child pornography immoral? People are inconsistent in- That's not what you said, bitch. You said why it's not immoral. And now you're saying why it's immoral. You changed your story, motherfucker. Mm -hmm their moral outrage at commodities which hurt people when they're produced. So people will laugh off cocoa butter or chocolate or, um, you know, or, or cobalt or other, you know, products that we tend to get through a really, really unethical system, but then they're really, really quick to denounce child porn. Now, you'll never... Yeah, so I, we've talked about this in great detail yesterday. It it's just so dumb. Like, th th this man thinks he's, a, like, this incredible debater. I guess if you're trying to defend CP, I guess that's probably as good of a defense as you can mount. It's not an easy position to take. But clearly, the, produ the production of uh, commodities like cobalt and cocoa butter... Yes, Duma Media! How you How's it going? He's just trying really, really hard to be an edgy smart boy. That's exactly it, right? But again, I would accept that previously. But now with the fact that he has got these lolicon images saved on his hard drive i mean it takes on a different context i'm still willing to you know kind of have the position that i've got about it but but you can understand i totally understand why someone are gonna call him a pedo off the back of this i mean come on man like get fucking real for a second will you like all of it together is just too too much for some people to bear to say anything other than well yeah he's likely a fucking nonce can exist without the exploitation of children or people. It can be made humanely. It can be. And it he is. He said it. He said tends to be. There's no humane right. CP. Although he, right. he suggests there is. He, which is another problem. He sure does. Never be able to find a clip of me saying that I think it's good to have child porn. Should consuming child porn be legal? <laughs> yes, 100%. Please, uh, please, right now, uncuck your dumb shit lid cuck oh fucking SJW brains and recognize this empirically correct fact that I am about to spit. It is The thing is, I do think that was probably some sort of clip chimp. But then there is a, a clip where he says that he wouldn't... He, that basically he wouldn't judge... Um, someone that, that purchases CP. The distribution is bad, but the person that purchases CP wouldn't judge them much differently to someone who has got a phone or eats chocolate or something, right? Like, it's like that maybe it sounds out of context, but I know that there's a clip where he does say that. It's like, bro, that's a crazy argument. Possible for an adult and a child to have a sexual relationship and for it to have positive outcomes. Now, Bosch, 
trial as well. Now, Vash, I've been looking for the um, context of that one. If you if somebody has it, please send it. Because I really, again, I don't know where, where that could possibly go. Uh, other than being like, psych! <laughs> so there we go, we're caught up on yesterday. Now, buckle up. <sighs> you guys ready? Here, I'm gonna give you the strongest one-two punch combo I've ever done on anybody on the internet. Here's clip one. Right now, we've all jerked it to Lolly at some point or another. We've all- Well, you don't have a penis. We have all- <coughs> at, We have at some point in our lives been going fucking crazy on some hentai site, and we've been Wait, fucking stro <laughs> stroking as hard and fast as we can, and then after we nut, we go back and look over our history chat, and we go- Oh, Ooh, that's a rough one. Oh, boy. Some of these girls look pretty young. Okay, I don't give a fuck, <laughs> alright? Um... How? No, we haven't. Bro! That is- That is a rough clip. In certainly looking back now, that's even rougher than before. I mean, bro, you fucking with Jack dude. It's like <laughs> that clip. Okay. It originally, oh, he's being a fucking edgy lad or whatever. Okay, and maybe that's happened to be maybe a bit generous to him. But now, with the context that you've got Lollicon on your computer, bro, that sounds insane now. And we're really gonna act like we could contextually look at that in the same way that we did before it was revealed. Because I'm sorry to break it to you, anime lollicon fiends. Is no, that's not a normal thing. No, what are you on about? Certified sick moment. Yeah, that's a deep cut. But when the clarity hits you and you realise it's not a short stack goblin. Oh, dude. Anime fans. Okay, you, may, you don't want to answer if you don't. <laughs> Can you relate to this at all? People that do like hentai and stuff? I don't know, man. You know, I genuinely have never been into the hentai stuff. Maybe when I was like a teenager, like 18 or something, I looked at it a bit, but never really got into it. But I used to look at the 4chan hentai board. And I think that all that stuff was disallowed on there, if I recall correctly. I'm pretty sure it was. I don't think that was allowed. Um... But yeah, I think that there is a substantive difference between an adult anime character naked or hentai character naked and a lollicon one, right? I mean, like the idea you'd accidentally jerk it to a lollicon, unless we're talking like 17 years old, 365 days, whatever fucking meme. Yeah, I think if, if, a, if one is noticeably a child, I think that you, you cannot just jerk off to that by mistake. That would probably be, uh, you know. I don't know. I don't think you could do that by accident, personally. And now, with the new context, unfortunately, it doesn't look good. Mm. Why is this man so shocked that you are speaking about him? I don't know. <laughs> that's, what are... I, that's what I don't get. I, I feel like I'm being gaslit by yeah. a bunch of pedophiles. <laughs> You're being gaslit one million thousand percent. Like, dude, what the fuck? These are the boldest statements I've ever heard, and I can't believe right. it. I can't believe his audience didn't push back more. They agree, though. That a lot of them agree. Crazy. It's 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 disturbing. It's yeah, I'm, I'm happy we're talking about it. Thank you. Me too. Because, I mean, hell, what the hell is this shit? You know? These people are just living out in the open in the daylight? Mm -hmm. They're just out there being being, the, being there fucked up? No. Not on my watch. No more daylight. Or Whoa. more daylight. Yeah. That was the analogy. <laughs> <in> the <beginning. laughs> more light. Yeah. No, he not good. He makes the choice to defend CP or to defend the philosophy of CP. So you one million percent have... The ability to speak on it on your platform. No, okay. but that's not what he was doing. He right. was saying cobalt's bad. Right, cobalt, cobalt. <laughs> we were trying cobalt to make a bigger point. He was making an economic argument. Yes. Yes. Capitalism's it's bad. Capitalism's yes. bad. Yes. Right, right. Yes. I take it all back. <laughs> um, go on. Uh, so, I mean, this clip is pretty stunning. We not How do you explain this away? It's like one aspect of this. If there's one aspect of this drama, you could probably explain it away and be okay. If it was just the this clip, say... You could probably explain that away as edgy exuberance, okay? If it was just the, um, oh, um, I'm making bad arguments about CP, you could probably explain that away. Even if it was literally just, this is the tougher one, but if it was just the file, you could probably slide through that just about by the skin of your teeth by making a really strong defense of it in terms of arguing it was a mistake or something like that, okay? But that's the toughest one. All of it together? I think that's it. I think your sign sealed delivered. It's over. I mean, how on earth can you possibly 
account for all of these things as one coherent thing. I just don't think you possibly can overcome all of this as one story, as one piece of drama. Um, and, like, you know, if you want to fucking argue with these crazy arguments or you're going to make memes about Lolly in the past, you cannot ever be discovered to be consuming it because then it all is tied up around you. Oh, my God. It's so crazy how Vosh fans just keep bleating the same point again and again and again without realizing the enormity and the scale of the drama that is now on Vosh. It's just, it's, it's like a boa constrictor. And the more that you struggle, the tighter it gets. You're fucked. Look over our history chat. We, we have not. Oh, That's a you experience, brother. Oh boy. Some of these girls look pretty young. Okay, I don't give a fuck, all right? <laughs> okay, so that's Vosh, and now that's the one punch. Yeah. Okay, now here's the two punch. Oh no, I know this bit. I know this bit well, guys. What do you guys Let's make go. of this? So he says, I've jerked off to Lolly, basically, and I've gone back and seen, like, wow, those girls look young. Now, let's listen to this one and tell me how much room Yo! for that was left. Go ahead. Let's go, Mr. Go Cameo, based. Well, obviously, there's a lot of history there. Unfortunately, ever since Mr. Go uh, made a concerted effort to try and get my channel taken down, um, yeah, things have been a bit rough between us, I would say. And obviously, there's lots of other things too. I'm not saying that's the only reason, but <laughs> there's a whole bunch of fucking shit you could talk about, right? But anyway, I will do the right thing. And there is a point where there's a pretty substantive mistake made about Mr. Girl that I will correct. But I'm not looking to, you know, delve into the fucking ins and outs of everything that's said that's wrong. But there's one pretty substantive mistake that I think is unreasonable to say. Anyway, this is a funny clip. Uh-oh. Unmute. Unmute your cuck lib ears. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Next question. Simulated uh, child porn lolly, lolly stuff. Uh, I think it's pretty sussy. Good. Is that I think Actually, that if you have an interest in that sort of stuff, you should definitely be checking yourself as to why. You know, like, uh, the, the oh. thing that really bothers me about this shit, apart from the fact that anytime you want to look at, like, hentai on a hentai site, you have to, like, no. negate the tag lolly and thus 50% of the site's content. The thing that bothers yeah. me is people who pretend there's no relationship whatsoever between, like, drawn lolly shit and actual attraction to children. Just, of course there's a relationship between those things. Oh. Ridiculous to pretend hey, otherwise. Okay. Okay. Take it from me! Okay. Okay. Bro! Come on, you've got... You're fucked! You're fucked, Bosh! What? How? The boa constrictor is round your neck. You're the nonce George Floyd. You can't breathe. <laughs> what? How on earth? Like, come on, man. It's, it's so over. By your own logic. You're hoisted by your own petard. That's the end. Okay. <laughs> That's it. I mean, he basically... He's right. That's Therefore, right. <laughs> he just did, like, a um, transitive property. Therefore, I want to fuck kids. Like, it's pretty, it's like a clean equation. Yep. He says, I watch Lolly, and people who watch Lolly want to fuck kids. The thing that bothers yeah, me is people time. who pretend there's no relationship back. whatsoever between, like, drawn Lolly shit and actual attraction to children. There's, of course there's a relationship between those things. Ridiculous to otherwise. So they need to be aware uh, of that, if anything. Are you, uh, are you saying that based on... Yeah. He's yeah. actually debating, I, I think, this guy's actually a, a, a confessed, self-proclaimed pedophile. So he's thought, I want to engage in a debate in great faith and good fun with this man. But Ethan, no. He's gone right. too far. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. The whole thing is just total bullshit. There's mm -hmm. no fucking high road. You debate people you disagree with ev all the time. Well, evidently he doesn't disagree with this guy. Mm. True. That's Not rough. much of a debate, I guess. That is rough to be uh, hoisted by that Mr. Girl debate. Because bear in mind, after that debate, Vosh kicked him off and was like, very fucking um you know strongly critical of mr girl and it became a big point of contention that was december 2021 and um it caused massive drama at the time so this 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 fact that this debate has now been used against him makes it particularly funny it's funny i remember back then like vosh fans were like shitting on anyone that dared associate with mr girl and now i'm pretty sure those same fans are probably defending Vosh over the fucking lolly stuff. It's so fucking crazy and backwards. So um, that's the one too. But now, there's more. 
L oh, listen no. to this take and tell me what you think. What uh -oh. age android girl do you think? Oh, I, I'm sorry if I maligned the last guy. I think I was misspeaking. Uh -oh. I think it was this guy, oh, but I don't know. Maybe do you have details? Ethan. Not at his desk, I think. What? Or is he? I'm I'm not sure. What? Did you you just accused a person of being a pedo when they weren't? He might have been. I it was one <laughs> he of these might guys. have been. Oops. <laughs> no, he might have been. It was one of these guys. You just oh, aren't sure no. which one. Somebody told me, but I don't know. I, I mean, I'm making that clear. I'm making that clear. I thought they looked like the same person. I didn't even know. If, if it's the same person, then I'm in. I'm good. I thought it was, but yeah, let me find out. But I mean, listen, I'm not, I got, I'm not talking about this guy. If it's not him, he has done it. Uh, listen, we love him. I don't anything about him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fact check that. And while I'm loving him. The average American man would be most attracted to. Which hypothetical strip club would be the most crowded if they all open tomorrow? I think it would be someone. Okay, wait. The same guy. Hold on. This guy, it is? Because yeah. I'm 100% right. And well, it, he proves it in this clip. Okay. Let's just keep watching. So the question is, let me start it over. I don't want you guys to miss a second of it. Okay. People in chat Age are Android it's the same guy. girl. Okay, good. Do okay, you good, think? Good. I'm good. This is fucking. I'm good. Like, I can't explain how crazy it is that this debate, right, which was the source of my own personal fucking art and involvement in a lot of this, uh, the discourse around it. Um, and now it's on Ethan Klein's show. And they don't understand any of it. They just found these clips where Bosch looks terrible. And they're playing it, but there's this whole fucking thing that's happened. This whole year of drama that's happened off the back of this one debate. And now it's being used to stitch Rosh up like a kipper. Ooh, that's rough. The average American man would be most attracted to. Which hypothetical strip club would be the most crowded if they all open tomorrow? <laughs> I think it would be you somewhere do not from want to answer 14. Question. No, I think it'd be somewhere from 14 to 17. I don't Which think we one? Would This motherfucker okay. wants to fuck 14-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> that is a child. It's 14. Well, he would say he's saying that. See, the thing is, and this is where I want to step in and just say, right? It is obviously an insane thing to say. The point that's being made is, is you know, if it was an android and there was no human, what would the average man pick? Vosh says 14 to 17. And I think that obviously it goes on and um, Mr. Girl says 15, right? I just think that this is a bit of cope, personally. I, you know, I don't know, man. It just, <laughs> I feel like it's saying it in a way to act like this is the taste of the general man. I think that there is a comment to make about like the way that kids get sexualized and the way that um, media does this and porn and stuff like that. There's lots of issues with it. But this idea that it'd be 14, 17, maybe? I don't know. That's probably a bit clear. 18, 18. Let's go with 18. Guys, you can't go wrong with 18, am I right? <laughs> but the thing is, I do understand that people think that's a pussy move because you're just saying what the correct perception of age is, right? And it just so happens to be the exact age that everyone tends to agree is the correct age with which to begin that sort of behavior. Um, but yeah, there's a documentary called All Men Are Pedos. Fucking hell. Most Americans would. He's that's, projecting it onto right. society. There's no way that's true. He's obviously representing his own... Yes. His own... Um, it's telling. ...desires. Because there's no fucking way the majority of men walking around wanting to see 14-year-olds strip. That's disgusting, bro. Even as a 14-year-old, you could ask me what my ideal girl is, and I would think an older woman. Like, right. So, <laughs> right. Uh, right. Right. That's a very good point. It's crazy to I say. I can't imagine somebody saying 14. 14 or 17. That's disgusting. He only said 17. Well, 17 is bad, too, but... Mm -hmm. He's like, listen, when by the time you're mid twenties, you're you're damaged goods. So gross. But okay, so here's the next guy's response. A big, a big difference. I have no idea. Also, I feel like you're broadening it out way too broadly. You know, there's some men that like um older body types too. Like there is definitely an industry for eighteen. And some of that ties into like the youngest possible age. Like, I was thinking about this. Do you remember there used to be porno? And it still kind of exists in OnlyFans, but because they're doing it themselves, it's considered better, right? But it was like, it was like, um, oh, we got a porn star here. It's their first day on the job. And uh, why is that? Oh, they've just turned 18. And they'd show that ID. And it was literally to show that they just turned 18 that day. And they'd rocked up to a porno set to get fucked. <laughs> like, bro, that's kind of, you know, it's obviously legal. But you okay, can definitely see there's a weird tone to that sort of content, right? Off depressed people. So I do think, of course, 
there's an element of people that will want the youngest possible age, um, like being 18 in this case. But also, I think that particularly as you grow older, you do tend to this idea that you're always going to lust after that's like in the Lolita book, isn't it? You're always going to lust after like a 14 year old or something, because something happened in your life. But the reality is you do tend to get an interest in older women as time goes on. Um, and maybe you might be interested in like a younger age, but going down to 18 and then you go down to 18 with the ID to prove that 18 on the day. And then younger than that. Yeah. I'm not so, I'm not so sure on that one personally. I think, uh, I think that's kind of one of those things where you're trying to say something super edgy that sounds based rather than actually thinking about well, what is the reality and the truth of this and what would most men be looking for. But anyway. And I couldn't even begin to think by which categories I would separate them. Do you have a number? I think it's, I think it's 15. So his friend here says, I'll be more specific. It's 15. So <laughs> Higher than Bosch. Well, higher and well, lower. It's like the mean. Right? But, but if he says that I want He's saying, I want to fuck 15-year-olds, kind of. That's, I mean, I'm good, right, with what I said? I'm seeing the dude introduce himself in a debate by saying his YouTube was banned for CP and he wanted to disc discuss yeah, I it. Kind of, I kind of find both sides of the debate incredibly obnoxious, although one side may possibly be nonces. But it's just like, you either get people that it seems like they're trying to be really edgy by mentioning a younger age than most people would find acceptable, right? Like, that's very cringe to me. But then you get these people that are like, uh, no, it would definitely be the age of consent. Da, da. Like, obviously, that's also kind of cringe, right? I, I get that, like, there's different elements to this. And I think that there's probably some people that would be interested in a younger body type. But I guess that... I just think it would be better to just think more broadly about it. Yeah, exactly. Yes, DK, yes. It's people trying way too hard to seem smarter than they really are. Yes, exactly. It's like you've got an idea in your head of, like... Oh, well, I think that men definitely want younger body types. So I'm going to make the argument that they want younger body types def definitively when I, ju I just don't know where you could possibly base that on. Um, because people's tastes are different. And I think it kind of plays into this idea that, oh, well, men are all secretly nonces and they want super young girls to, to X, Y, and Z with. And yeah, I guess I'm just kind of, I guess I'm just kind of a bit skeptical about that claim. But I've not looked at the evidence. I've not looked at the studies. I've not looked at the information. Um, I am also a father, so I do have my own biases for this. Obviously, I'm deeply concerned with the world that my daughter's growing up in. So, yeah, I think that that is definitely influencing my perspective on it. But I just, I hate this like super edgelord attempt to try and make out like, well, yeah, it would definitely be this age. Because all, all these guys want to see a fucking, you know, 15 year old androids panties or whatever it is. But anyway. Yeah, baby. And I was talking to him for 90 minutes. See, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you guys got shit on me. What? But Bosch is like, let's get on with the guy who got banned for promoting CP. That'll be a great conversation. Oh, but fuck, Ethan, he was mean to my... King Kong, he was mean King to my community. <laughs> but, you know, right. I remember when I was younger, for example, right? I was more interested. When I was in, like, my early 20s, I was more interested in the kind of 18, kind of, you know, porn genre. Like, I would probably, you know, and this is so weird. I hate talking about this stuff. But, like, yeah, I might well look that up, right? But I cannot imagine. Like, there was someone that shared an image, and it was um, the blacked person. And it was, the, uh, you know, obviously a young-looking woman that was designed to look innocent and naive. And they were trying to say, oh, look, this is like, well, you know, I think it was Smith or maybe even Mr. Girl. That sh was it Mr. Girl that shared it or Smith? It was Smith, I think, that shared it. But anyway, that to me now, I'm like, oh, God. Like, I, I couldn't imagine seeking out specifically like 18 porn well, that just would just seem weird to me so i think that tastes do develop and change as you get older well i don't think there's anything wrong if you're in your early 20s i mean even if you're at my age if they're of legal age it's fine it might be a bit creepy if you're specifically hunting that particular age out um you know like if you're 40 and you're seeking out a just turned 18 porn. I mean, oh, yeah, you're within the boundary of what's legal, but that's a bit weird, I think. I'm not saying that there's anything ethically or morally wrong that you're doing. But if you imagine this, right? You're at a party, okay? And a 40 year old guy, the conversation comes up about porno. You're a few drinks in with some men, men knocking about, and you're talking about porno a little bit. And this like 40 year old guy says, Yeah, well, I really like the uh, 18 porn. 
You know, the one where they hold up their ID to show they just turned 18. That's my favorite. Or, you know, um, yeah, I, I, you know, there's these girls on OnlyFans and they literally turn 18. And uh, <laughs> I go and fucking sign up straight away for their profile because that's the, you know, you'd, you'd look at him and you'd be like, all right, mate, that's a bit fucking bit noncy, isn't it? Like, why are you doing that for? <laughs> why, why does it have to be the lowest possible age that you can legally look at them naked? Um, right? But if someone was just like kind of into it, but kind of, oh, yeah, you know, I like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to say it without sounding pedo <laughs> Like if, if, okay, whereas if someone just so happened to meet someone and they were 40 and the person just so happened to be 18 and they met in normal life and they were dating, I wouldn't really see anything wrong with that. But if they're like, yeah, my age bracket on Tinder is 18 and only 18 and I only want to date 18 year olds. It's all contextual, you know? But this is... Keep watching, stop talking, okay? <laughs> I don't think I've said anything that crazy, am I? I just don't want to say anything that's going to fuck me over with this. This is a very dicey topic. Hey, buddy. That's why you don't want to do it. So he says the uh, average American man... Okay, I'll say it like this. I think it's, it's incredibly difficult to seek out the youngest possible age bracket that someone could do porn past the point of being like mid-20s at the oldest and it not be fucking weird. OK, when you're in your 30s, I think you've got to accept that your tastes are probably going to develop. And if they haven't and you're specifically seeking out the youngest possible age, there's something there's questions to be asked there. OK, wants to fuck 14 to 17 year olds. And then he also says an interesting oh, take. Boy. Another one that I here's just my, don't know where the fuck wall. But how do I make money? Like, Again, since he's left his quartering, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> At least their voices. They play the oh boy that you keep playing. Oh boy. <laughs> Does the quarter yeah. have She's one that's on exactly the same thing? His previous he's owner said, okay. <laughs> right, so, okay. Here's another one. Are you okay? There are... <laughs> We have okay. a lot. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. Play them both. Okay. That's quartering. Okay. And then the other one? Oh, boy. Whoa! I'm telling oh, you! Boy. It's like the same. The same dude! I thought both were quartering, honestly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. No, that's the tonal difference. He, he quarterings up and then Vosh is down. Okay. Maybe we could do it. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they can harmonize. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, go ahead, Bosch. You know it's going to be spicy, but he he's hesitating. You see this? He's like, ooh, hey, should I say it? Take 12, you okay? There are... We have a lot... Um, how, do I, how do I put this? Does anyone else get the feeling that, like, men, at least in the West, are kind of, like, taught to be kind of a little pedophile -y a little bit with how... Excuse Stop! me. I have never thought that, but... No. I don't think so. I think in the West, they're generally the opposite. I think yeah. it's known in Japanese culture that it's very more pedo -y. But Western culture? I think there... in America in particular, in some parts of Europe, there's obviously some wacky age consents, which I think are insane. And in Japan, it's particularly okay, egregious. Okay, that's wonderful. But, but America is very... Off depressed people. You know, As 1,600-year-old dragon, yeah, I no the longer find Euro the 1,200-year-old dragons attractive. <laughs> Thank you very much for the super chat. Youth is fetishized. But this is the, this is what I was trying to get across um, when I was talking about the, the black thing, right? Is that there's a difference between like youth or childish appearances or something like that getting fetishized and the perception of innocence getting fetishized in like a woman, right? So you can have a woman that is presented in a certain way, but they're clearly a fucking woman and they look like a woman, but they're presented in a way to present them as naive or innocent. Which is which is tapping into like the idea of an innocent person being ravaged, but they are still a woman, right? That's very different to, you know, a younger a younger person presented as a younger person. Right? That's that's the pedophile shit coming in. But yeah, the pigtails aren't meant to represent, oh, this is a child. It's meant to represent, you know, the the a, a, a appearance of innocence and naivety and that getting destroyed, right? And I think that people make that mistake. 
I mean, you know, the school, you know, dressing up like a schoolgirl thing. That's a common trope in role plays and stuff, isn't it? It doesn't mean that you literally want to fuck a schoolgirl. It means that you want to fuck the perceived innocence of your partner. There's an adult pretending to be a schoolgirl. Oh, I forgot the homework or whatever, right? The Bray shit is weird. I will give you that. I find that a, a very unusual. I think that is particularly coded as a uh, more of a child child thing. Um, so yeah, that maybe is. Uh, I I don't know. It's just a bit odd, isn't it? When it's played up and stuff. <laughs> anyway, we do need to get through this, so let's continue. There's some. I never got that impression. Me neither. I mean, if you, can you provide an example, Dan? Well, the thing that's got me, I mean, we do have like an entire generation of people that were raised on the Disney Channel that was being run by this pedophile guy and all these young girls that have been sexualized and they all abuse drugs and <laughs> turn out with all kinds of problems and everything. I think that there is uh, at least, it, but that's the reason I wasn't like speaking up is because like Western civilization is like, that's such a stupid fucking term. First of all, it's like, what, what does that really encompass? Are we talking about, I, I guess I'm th just thinking more like American culture. Sure. There is like some weird shit there, mm. but like you said, I mean, uh, all of the lolly stuff in Japan is uh, quite a bit more overt than anything we get in yes, mainstream American true. culture. Well, and I mean, you look at England, you look at the proliferation of like Jimmy Savelle, although I guess that's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's yeah. like, yeah, I don't know. All right, Wait! Let's see. Well, let's see. He'll explain. What is he on about? Jimmy Savile was kept like a secret from the public. And when everyone found out, they thought it was disgusting. What the fuck? <laughs> No, we're not Pino Island. We didn't like that at all. I think what's more realistic there is that in the 70s, I think that there was more of a... I mean, Jimmy Savile was a particularly egregious operator beyond any anything because he was like literally molesting dead, sick children in hospital and possibly even fucking corpses, right? That was insane. Um, and when it came out publicly, there was outcry. The problem was the BBC had suppressed it and it was a secret that people sometimes commented on, but the BBC would work to suppress it, right? But when it came out in 2013 or whatever, it was like met with national outrage and shock and everyone was disgusted by it. But I think, and I don't know if this was the same in America, I'd imagine so, but there was definitely like a weird 3P, you know, I want to say almost pedophilic angle where you'd have these kind of like, I, I think there were maybe of age, perhaps sometimes under like 14, 15, but it was like the groupy thing where rock stars would... And this and this just got discovered in the Jimmy Savile thing is a bunch of these rock stars and a bunch of these people ended up getting fucking caught because they'd banged some 14 year old in the 70s. And it turned out that actually now we realize how fucked that is. There was loads of people that got, ended up getting prosecuted. And what was it called? Operation U Tree, I think, was the investigation into Jimmy Savile. And then there was a bunch of other people that ended up getting caught out for these dynamics, too. Part of that was the kind of rock star culture like the 70s. But also there were people around Jimmy Savile that were, you know, also diddling kids too. And they ended up getting wrapped up in it. So, yeah. Anyway, I, I resent the idea that like everyone was chill about J Jimmy Savile diddling kids. It's not, it's not true. It was just suppressed for a long time. And Much not to mention better. the entire country of France. Mm. All pedos. <laughs> 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 Oh, you. Sometimes a baguette is not a baguette. <laughs> Don't ruin was, baguette for us. Wasn't the movie Cuties out of France? Wasn't that a French movie? Oh, people were saying Nickelodeon. Right, Dan Schneider was Nickelodeon. But all the Disney Channel kids, it's just, I don't no, know. They all Same turned out fine. Yeah, fine. Yeah, they all good. turned out great. They're good. But what's that? I don't, I don't think they're baiting adults to want to fuck the ass. Yeah, I think that's just more creepy. Um, he's saying it's taught in society. Uh, yeah, he's saying it's taught. I missed that day of school. <laughs> right. Yeah, taught specifically? Yeah. No, but I, like fetishizes young girls and stuff. I mean, I think you'd be lying if you said that. I mean, there's American some. Culture doesn't do that. But I don't. Okay, I don't know. I'm not here to to defend Western civilization. I just don't <laughs> think that that's like a what? a prominent mm. feature of our culture. All I know is when I first got a phone, I looked up J Lo sexy. <laughs> Damn oh, yeah. boy, I wasn't looking what up girls boy. my age. <laughs> I feel like he's just he's. That's not what he's saying though. That. Maybe not, maybe not. He's just trying to justify he, himself he, going off to be a fucking weirdo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah, like, Western civilization is like not a concrete thing anymore. It's not my it's fault. Like, what are we really talking it's about? It's not my fault I like this shit. Yeah, he's just mm -hmm. like, oh, I was just society this fault. when growing up. It's not my fault, dude. Come on. It's not your fault. I mean, it might not be. Maybe he was abused. I don't know. It's not your fault. We don't shoot. Like, I don't think anyone will. It's crazy. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Play the Okay. Okay. Play the air. Oh boy. Play the fog. Oh boy. 
I'm confused about um, like, what is it? No, it's empty. No, no, it's empty. I'm confused about. Like, what motivates pedophiles? Do they just find kids attractive? Or is it, like, the power and control and dominance and, like, the destruction of I, innocence? I think it's more of that. That's what I think, too. That's, I so think. you can't, so... That, not, that this more... is where it gets really sticky because, like, there's a distinction, and this is made professionally as well, between pedophiles, so someone that has the attraction and people that molest children. Obviously, there's a crossover there. There's a Venn diagram somewhere there. Um, but there are also occasions when people will molest a kid, not because they have an attraction. It is literally just a pure power thing. Um, yeah. Or they're like an opportunist or something. Obviously, that's why the act is the thing that should be absolutely okay, 100% that's, that's wonderful. stigmatized, dealt with, mind prosecuted. Mind In some cases, I think even the death penalty for extreme examples. Um, but obviously, it's a very difficult conversation to have because people immediately assume that there's some sort of like downplaying of the act of um, of, of like the concept of pedophilia in and of itself. And obviously, it's such a toxic conversation on the internet because everyone immediately jumps to the fucking wood chipper memes the moment you even put wood chipper, wood chipper, wood chipper, wood chipper. Um, but yeah, I actually spoke to I went on Arch Warhammer show. Um, Someone I've mocked relentlessly before my channel years ago, but um, even he, he's on, he's on the right, more so on the right. And he had, um, you know, the, the take that if someone's got a thought in their head, um, you know, executing them just for having that thought is probably not really permissible morally, but also you're just going to prevent people from coming forward to speak on it. So as distasteful and disgusting as it is to some people, if people are willing to come forward without committing an, an act, a crime, then that's where the, the pathway should be. How do we deal with this person? And if it's castration or even more extreme measures to protect kids and so be it, you know, it needs to be a therapy in the first instance, maybe. But obviously if someone touches a child, well, that's the point at which the harsh punishments must come into play because, you know, we obviously want to completely disincentivize and stop any, any sort of act against a child because of how destructive and harmful it is, right? But very difficult conversation to have. Very emotionally charged conversation and i think the unfortunate thing is people tend to kind of come at it from a very emotional place correctly because it is a very emotive topic and um it just ends up with yeah a very <laughs> a very a very a very tricky topic let's put it that way it sense to me. Older of, i mean i really don't know disgusting. enough about it the, like the psychology of it all but i feel like it could be both Actively searching for yeah, because, I, I don't know. I, I don't know on the situation, but I think it could be both. Well, my question is, a lot of people go, "Listen, you can't control who you're attracted to, right? Just don't act on it." He said that. Mm -hmm. However, if it if what turns you on is literally the exploitation of them and not what they look like, mm -hmm. then it is your fault, and it is inherently immoral mm -hmm. there's like really no there's really nowhere to go with that yeah. there's not like man right. i was born this way i'm attracted to kids but i'm just gonna i'm not gonna act like i don't know if that's a real thing if only vosh called in i'm sure he'd provide a well articulated <laughs> he's probably thought a lot about this yeah, so, yeah. well i've always a good point Cam. i've sort of wondered this may be a sect of it but like the whole misogynist mentality like the fresh and face of like they want this unreal girl that has to be so pure like i feel like that train of thought gets so insane sometimes that maybe they lead to children like honestly like what oh my god see look what is this dude this is nuts come on now that is crazy <laughs> nah come on you can't be fucking chucking out those Dude, I've, someone just tweeted, someone actually that I'm a mutual with that I know is a groper just tweeted out my uh, my defense of groupers earlier. And now I'm defending the fucking Red Pill guys. Dude, what's happened to me? I'm shitting on the left defending groupers and Red Pillers. Uh-oh. I just, what really frustrates me is when people are in this, this situation where they just completely slate an entire group of people without any nuance or perspective, you know? I just, I just think that that's an unreasonable thing to say. The, the criticism I would make of the fresh and fit guys is that they're all coomers. That they're all weird sex freak coomers that want to shit on women, but then a portion of them will subscribe to the OnlyFans women that come on. So you're kind of mugging yourself off with that kind of content sometimes. Um, but yeah, I just think it's unreasonable to, to so broadly paint a brush across an entire group of people. Um, 
when I, I just don't think there's really any merit or reason to do so. But we're, we're like, it's not realistic what they're talking about. And they just mm -hmm. end up hating women. So I don't know. I yeah. feel like that might be two different types of pedos. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It might be a there's different this, There's this model. alpha guy that I'm going to... He's right. He's right. What? He's right to say that the red pills might lead to... Ch like, dude, that's just crazy. You're, you're fucking... What is wrong with you? That's an insane thing to say. Name, but... Because I don't know... If, but he, he always brags about having sex with 18-year-olds. And he had mm. sex with his 18-year-old that just turned 18, which is fucking mm. insane. Um, Who is know. it? A red pill guy? I couldn't type in a chat, but, you know, I don't want to... Different models. If to it's not, like, 100% accurate. Whatever, I don't give him a shout-out. P1000. Yeah. Go ahead, Bosh. Shizing young girls. Does anyone else kind of get that feeling a little bit, just a smidge, possibly? Not like every guy's anyone? a pedophile, and I don't believe that. But, like... The way we hyper fetishize youth for girls we. is like really weird. We do we like unironically this hunt for pedos everywhere, right? It's it could be and literally anyone could be. You get teachers that are pedos, right? In fact, there was just this big case that got busted. I referenced it earlier of this online site with all pedo shit, and one of the person was a junior doctor. <laughs> like, bro, it's any walk of life. This idea that, you know, oh, this group or that group or that group, it's about behavior and that specific behavior engaged in to go down that route. It's not just, oh, you believe in red pill shit. Well, you think this, which could lead to this, which could lead to this. I think that's a terrible way to look at the world. And I just think you should judge people, you know, on their actions and their behavior. That's the key. But anyway. Okay, that's mm. wonderful. But how do I make my mind? Thank you for the super chat. Lot of files are victims of PDFs themselves. A lot of things that happen to you during your first intercourse influence oh. you. Non-offenders need help. Thank you very much for the super chat. Thank you. Yeah. Wait, not like he's describing. Who's we? Not it. I'm not even trying to be like contrary. I have no idea what he's talking about. Um, it's like really infantilization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not talking like a kink thing or anything. Like if you're doing some weird diaper play, have fun. Okay. No, but I, what I mean is like in every aspect of our depiction of sexual relations between men and women, um, we almost always uh, 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 associate youth with desirability when it comes to women. But not just I youth, like... Yeah, you... Hold on, he's saying two different things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's saying, oh yeah, men want younger women instead of older women, versus, do you think everyone's taught to be a pedophile? Right. We're talking about adults when you say that. When you say, younger is better. We're not talking about eight-year-olds in that conversation. We What's never have argument? been. As far as I was aware, we weren't. Like if you're earlier about, than like 40 sorry, the beauty standards that are expected of women that's another conversation that's not pedophilia that, right it's not so i don't you could talk like, about like i don't feel like that's what he's talking about but you could talk about like unfair beauty standards yeah. or expectations it yeah. feels like he's trying to build a bridge between these two mm -hmm. islands of thought right. and um that is where he loses us yeah and i think he doesn't realize that absolutely and and it's his per continued persistence mm -hmm. on these topics mm -hmm. you know because People before, I'd say like people like 20 to 40 are all like in a pretty conventionally attractive range. Sometimes beyond that, depending on, you know, a, a variety of things. Um, but like the girls are never like 35 or 40. They're always and what? 18. And what? And what? Yeah, and what? They're always 18. Like you're just saying that because you're 40? I'm 26. But then why is he say, again, he's, <laughs> he's not making any sense because he goes, does anyone feel like we're all pedophiles? No. <laughs> well, don't you feel like they're trying is to- Is this even true? Like, this is what I was trying to get out earlier. Obviously, it's very tricky to navigate if people were telling me to shut up. But like, I think, yeah, as you get older, generally your tastes develop like a wine. And you, you start to find like older women attractive because you kind of have a natural affinity towards where they are in their life and where you are in your life. Right? Am I crazy? I don't know. Like, <laughs> is it common that you're 40 chasing 18 year olds? I just don't really see that in my own life from people that are 40. I mean, a lot of the people I know are married and stuff. Um, but yeah, your, your tastes age like wine, like a fine wine. What's your top age? I don't know, 45? 50's got a bad ring to it for me, personally. I just, you know. That's probably unfair. There's probably some nice, good-looking 50-year-olds, but I just feel I'm a bit too young for that. But yeah, you know, if there was a hot 45-year-old and I met them, I mean, yeah, sure. And we hit off. Why not? And make us want to fuck 18-year-olds? Right. Oh, yeah. we move the goalposts. Why are you fucking 18-year-olds? Not a pedophile, buddy. Nice try. Moving on. <laughs> Here is uh, him on his Discord <clears throat> that I was telling you is just a... Hornet's net of disgusting freak shit. 
Um, <clears throat> he what said in his the Discord. People were saying, "What was that poll saying in the in the video you had?" Because he had a poll. Can you check, maybe? Oh, it's from Destiny's Discord. By the way, Vosh was such a pervert. He was a fan of, of Destiny. Okay. And uh, Destiny I... had to ban him from his Discord because of the amount of times people were saying that he was sexually harassing them. Oh, God. And Destiny had to oh, ban him. Oh, boy. And that oh, is oh, when, boy. you know what's crazy? <laughs> That's when Vosh went and formed his own community. Like, people were like, yeah, I'm going with him. Oh. I'm going with him. I think the timeline is slightly off in terms of, I think Vosh has started streaming first, but that is fundamentally true that, yes, um, Vosh got banned from Destiny's community because it was the poppy thing that blew it all open. But apparently there was like other reports of him engaging in similar behavior with other people. So the yeah. sexual harassment guy. What a great origin story. It is, yeah. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, so he, boy. Said, <laughs> he said, they're talking about sex bots. Well, wait, if the sex bot is just a toy, then why does it matter if an adult fucks a kid robot? Oh that's a dicey <laughs> message, isn't it? Listen, I think you know what I mean? He's just asking questions. This look. Look, I've got to be honest with you. Again, new context. By all means, analyze it very differently if you wish. But, I mean, this is a very slim screenshot. I don't know what the rest of the conversation that's happening here. Um, I don't know. I just think that this okay, is unnecessary to get to but to make the point make that you want to make. And it just leaves it open for people to the good work criticize you for finding everything when there's much more substantive, obvious stuff that you can go at if you wanted to go at it with Vosh. But that's just my personal view. I don't know if this is like particularly I'm not that you know I'm not saying like oh my god I can't believe he said this it's more so like well there's other stuff which is much more substantively obvious that you can go in for uh, that's a it's a crazy poll in that last video it's asking about our western men pedophiles and what is the what's the so stuff? there's yes and then there's yes but it's because society and not sure and then nah and it wins yes because society for 60% of the vote what Whoa. that is fucking and then 12% what the fuck 12% says yes Wow. That's scary. That sixty percent said yes because of society. Yeah. Great communities got there. Yeah. Great we community. We live in a society. That's crazy. So what anyway, they're eating is unbearable, look, it's like, man. Get a fucking noise gate if you're gonna eat. You're a fucking biggest Oh my god. Get a fucking noise gate. Why are you fucking eating? Chomping on the mic. I fucking hate that shit, man. You can have a philosophical uh, conversation about can you if you have sex with a child sex toy. Is that illegal? However, in the context of everything, again, in this mountain of evidence, mm -hmm. you can no longer give him what he asked for, which is charitability. Mm -hmm. The charitability window is closed. <clears throat> Unironically, dude, this is another one from Discord. First one says, <clears throat> Ready for that. I'm on do you, he says, do you ever wonder if anyone here has ever fucked a minor while being an adult? Oh. No. <laughs> Delete. Also looks like they left the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is why I got confused about where it came from because this is cool. This is a politics channel. Got it. Okay. Deleted <laughs> user, by the way. Do you <laughs> like see the band. title? Politics. <laughs> yeah, by the way, this isn't the this sex is a talk politics one. channel. Bruh. Yeah. Right. Bruh. What is wrong with you? And then another person says, I try not to think about that. He goes, Come on, guys, fess up. Who's done it? Confess. Gross. He says, Lola, Lola, Lola Mar has definitely fucked a 15 year old. Okay, but then, so here's part two. That's crazy. <laughs> Uh, they, they someone deep, responds deep. by saying, I did fuck an adult as a minor. His response was unironically hot. Oh my God. What the fuck? It <laughs> I'm trying to think, have I seen these before? Because I have seen some crazy Vosh logs previously, mainly the horsecock stuff. I don't think I've seen this before. It's so hard. It's so hard to think about every single screenshot log you've ever seen. But even then, okay, before this this came out, yeah, maybe still here. Like, is it all of it? This on its own, you could probably come up with a fucking reasoning for. But this, the lolly clip, the fucking repeated uh, attempts to flatten out the differences between CP and other forms of exploitation. Then pivoting to talking about how bad lolly is repeatedly. Like, <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> It is too much. Too bare. And I just, this is why I'm saying all of this together is a complete shit sandwich that I don't think is going to be swallowed easily. It's the unironically part. You're, you're really, yeah. you know, 
You're really saying it. And by the way, what I'm showing you guys is is a, a fraction of the totality. Like I knew I didn't have time to show you, so I just I just grabbed the ones that I thought were the strongest. I'm just imagining you and our Discord having these kind of conversations. Oh this my insane, god. Dude. Like this is a massive creator talking to his audience like Well, that. I think again, this one was what year was this? 18, 2018. So just to, to be fair to this guy, uh, Five years I think that that was still one he was just in um, Destiny's Discord. Just a creep on Discord. Okay. Yeah, he, he was just yeah. a normal creep. He wasn't yet yeah. a thought leader of the mm. creeps. Okay. Okay. okay, here he is saying that if you get CP for free, you're good to go. Okay. What if the offender... Right. This this clip, I don't believe I've seen before. This was quite eye-opening for me when I saw this. He is saying that if you get CP Sorry. for free, you're good to go. What if the offender is consuming child porn without paying for it? If if you're not paying for child porn, if you're just getting it, there there is no moral or legal argument against that. That doesn't that doesn't also like rope in you guys for the things that you have purchased. I would never um, make the argument that somebody who doesn't pay for child pornography but consumes in any way has committed Dude. a moral act. I would never. What, what if the offender is consuming child porn? So he said, porn? "Listen, as long as you don't." That is an insane point. What is he on about? That is insane. <laughs> Least deranged utilitarian. I mean, I don't know. I've got no idea. Some of these clips, like I say, I'm pretty sure I've not seen them before. I've seen, obviously, the classics where it just looks like he's trying to flatten out the differences to make a point about capitalist exploitation. But now here he is arguing that, like, I'm assuming when he says roping you in, he's saying that I can't make an argument against that without also criticizing you on the same basis for having a mobile or eating chocolate, I think, is what he's trying to say, right? So it's like there's flattening it out to make an edgy argument, but then they're saying like, well, actually, someone that is owns and consumes child pornography is exactly the same fucking ethics and morals as you guys, I'm afraid. Like, bro, it's nuts. Don't buy it. Why? It's not immoral. Which obviously, I'm not even going to have that. I'm not even going to debate yeah. him on that because it's so obviously so disgusting. Yeah. But then he goes, well, hold on. Actually, you can buy it too. Oh, no. That's That's good. But you believe that some consumerism is more ethical than others, right? Not all consumerism is equal, right? It's not all equally unmoral, right? I would, I would argue that in a, in a, a, um, in the sense as to its outcomes, yes, obviously there are some forms of consumption that are less ethical than others. But in terms of what it means for an individual's like ethical state, I would not argue there's a difference. I would not argue that there is anything wrong. And I'll, and I see somebody dis, uh, disbelief in, in, in uh, uh, super chats. I would not say that it is uh, unethical for a person to purchase child pornography or purchase blood diamonds because I don't see a major difference between that. I do. What is? <laughs> I definitely one hundred percent have not seen this before. I can't remember this cult of dusty debate. And and hearing this, did I listen? I can't. I, did I listen to this part of this coverage? I fell asleep. I fell asleep about an hour ago into this video originally, and I'm wondering if I. Took it in somehow because I, I think you okay, know the blood wonderful. diamonds thing. I've kind but of how remember. How do I make money after press? People? But in any oh, case, sure, regardless, this is a, an utterly crazy thing to say. And the thing is, like, not only is it a, a, a stupid argument, well, you know, and there's lots of different ways you can approach it. My baseline would be, but with child pornography, the exploitation is the product, and you are d soliciting sexual pleasure out of the exploitation of children directly, which is fucked. Um, and wrong versus the more nebulous exploitation occurring in a supply chain, which isn't really as tangible. So you're going to be more accepting of that because it's not as tangible. Um, but that being said, I still think it's worth saying, yeah, we should get rid of exploitation in the supply chains, right? Anyway, putting that to one side, um, what, what, what a crazy thing to say. And for what? To, to sound super edgy in a debate. And now we know that he fucking possesses at least lollycon pornography. <laughs> Now, this for, surely changes the context of this comment now because he possesses it. Well, not 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 full on actual something that's harmed a child, say, but he possesses the next best thing, which is a drawing, or the next worst thing, I should say, a drawing of a child. I I just you know, and there's the clip of like like I say, you take it all into account, and it just does not look good, does it? I don't know how, how on earth you could possibly stage a defense of this shit. <laughs> one can be produced ethically, one cannot. <laughs> Different spotted. Why do you keep talking about it, bro? 
And again, buying a computer with uh, silicon that was mined up by literal child slaves who are worked to death and raped so more children can be born to work the next generation of slaves in Central Africa. I don't see a fundamental difference there. That's insane. You can't see a difference. I was thinking about this. <laughs> We're talking about child slaves. He's so outraged about child slavery. Dude, how dare you think that I have a, mm -hmm. a, a attraction to minors, he mm -hmm. says to me. What would give you this idea? I don't know. You're ga Stop trying to gaslight me, pedophile. Pedo. And in the sense that he's attracted to art. I see nothing wrong in that. No. I mean, if the jacket fits. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, he's, so he's talking about child slavery. Horrible. Here's where it would be maybe equivalent. If to buy a diamond, jewelry or otherwise, you had to go outside okay, that's wonderful. of a slave how do I make camp money off mine, do you think and as kids are bleeding and dying him down. and working, you go there and you buy the blood diamond. That's, that, that would be comparable. Because you're going there, you're seeing, you're, there's no question. There's no ethical way to do that. You're there, you're seeing it, and you're deciding to buy it. As, as sucks as it is to say it, it's out of sight, out of mind at the end of the day. That's the reality of this. And if you're not seeing it, you're not going to be thinking about it. And that's why when you have these campaigns for charities, they put it in front of you. You know, you've seen the fucking thing in Africa, haven't you? Poor starving child. You've got a little brown kid there next to a vulture waiting to eat it and shit. It's because you can't visualize it and you can't substantiate that in your mind in any meaningful, um, tangible way. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's probably the closest comparison that you could get is like if you were, you know, it was in your face and particularly if it's an item that you don't even need like a diamond. Yeah, maybe something like that. It might be a more reasonable comparison to make, right? But then that's not how we engage with these products anyway. So, it, you know, we have to create this hypothetical where you're literally there watching a child get beaten to death over mining diamonds or something. Anyway, at the price of them being slaves mm -hmm. and being tortured or whatever, whatever. But obviously that doesn't ever happen. Mm -hmm. The 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 way that whatever, I don't explain mm -hmm. it all. But like, it's obviously whatever. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, they're both bad. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's just such a weird point to even keep arguing in the first place. Like, why is he so passionate about it? So many times. Oh, no. So many uh -oh. times. <laughs> What we choose. I guess my point is like he's making it seem like everyone who buys blood diamonds is there and relishing in the suffering. People right. don't know where the diamonds come right. from. People yeah. don't know where the cobalt come from. People don't know where the chocolate comes from. In most cases, yeah. In a lot of cases, there is ethical versions you can buy, but like the average person CP is not going to know. Is suffering yeah. and exploitation. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. That's what okay, you're that's buying. Right. But how Thank you. Right. That's that what you're buying. Yeah, you're yeah, buying the suffering the of a child. Yeah. We yeah. were, yeah. I think we were saying on Friday, like this man has a phone. This man has a streaming setup. Like he's, he's, a, he's purchasing this stuff and he knows all of the horrible things that go into creating them. So I don't know where is, where is the line for you? Like <clears throat> you still are consuming this horrible thing oh, that that's what he's trying to, he's trying to say it's just just as bad you know like people don't call mm -hmm. me out for this right and, and, so and they I go wonder. Before, and then people go he's not defending cp well let's follow the logic he's saying eating a chocolate bar from ralph's is equally as morally bad as consuming cp now what are we trying to do here because i go and buy chocolate bars in fact the most i say all of us go to and buy chocolate bars so if all of us are going and buying chocolate bars we're morally equivalent to the people that go and buy cp Mm -hmm. And then, therefore, the conclusion is going and buying CP is basically like going to the store and buying chocolate bars. It's it's this yeah. it's this pretzel of rationalization, mm -hmm. and it seems to me that he's ta he's really just talking to himself. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And we're still buying the chocolate bars. <laughs> <laughs> I love chocolate, and you could use that with anything, no matter what I mean, the he's... argument is. You could say it's not ethical to kill an innocent person, and then he could say, "Oh well, in the army, we we condone of it all the time. Like it's mm. it's just an endless." You know, well, nothing. Yeah. But no, but like going in the army doesn't necessarily mean right, even that's death not, or right, or right. something. You know, it's there's much more happening. CP, the product is suffering. Right, you're mm -hmm. buying right. yeah. a that's child being resource. abused. Yeah, yeah, the child is the product. Yeah, it's that's it. The child's suffering is the product. That's yeah. the product. In a diamond for the consumer, it's hidden. <laughs> right, it's not but like <laughs> he's a smart guy, right? He doesn't need us to explain that. No, to him. right. No, he, he knows. fucking knows the difference. And you know what? I wonder if like if this has given your career so much grief. Why do you talk about it so much? Keeps keeps mm -hmm. going, going, going. Why is there so much of you talking about it? On Discord, in videos, all throughout his career. And you're not even making a good argument. It's horrible. Which apparently you admit it. 
which tells me there's passion behind it for yeah. some reason. Yeah. yeah. Because why else? <laughs> why else? I yeah. barely get triggered about stuff. But if someone starts talking, saying the Last Jedi was a good Star Wars movie, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and forth with you. <laughs> True. You know what I mean? Like I I, I think Last Jedi it's a good Star Wars movie. All right, another another day. Hold on. Another day. Another Put day. a pin in that yeah. for Friday. Yeah. But yeah, no, he's definitely on a mission to normalize <laughs> CP, drawing yeah. CP. I feel like that's yeah. the um, only conclusion form, to draw. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, also if you have all these accusations floating around you, I mean, again. Well, I think I think that before. Right, it's maybe you'd argue that, but I think the alternative argument is well, no, it's just edgy edge lord debate argument stuff. But then it turns out he's got drawn images of <laughs> Lollicon. I mean, it's totally reasonable to recontextualize that and be harsher. Like this is the thing that the Voshites just aren't getting: is they want to focus on you're taking it out of context, it's bad faith, blah 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 blah, and they're completely disregarding this fresh context is like they have to argue them separately. And even when they're talking about the folder, often they'll, you know, ignore the lollicon and focus on the horsecock stuff. All of it taken together is insurmountable as far as I can tell. But I'm sure he would agree. It was very stupid to have all of that shit on his streaming computer, but <laughs> that's like part of the pathology, right? Like he can't even help himself. Like right. this dude is yeah. like right. browsing the internet, like just, Right click save, right click save. Like, I need this, I need this, I need this. Like, it, it, it is a problem, dude. It's a yeah. problem. It's absolutely a problem. But we're just being bad faith or poisoning the world some shit. I'm so curious. All these people I see, like, even donating, saying, I'm a fan of both. You should watch this video, mm -hmm. this context. It's like, are, are you still a fan of both? Mm -hmm. After seeing the lolly porn, after hearing all this shit, are you really still writing for me? There's no way. And if you are, there's, now a, that there's a reason for it. Now that we've explained everything, <laughs> then there, yeah, yeah. why are you still there? Why are you still there? It's kind of weird. What's going on here? <laughs> if he means everything he said, then we, everything we said here today is one million percent right. Because what what context everything. could yeah. be missing? Yeah. Every he's giving us all of the context. Yeah. Well, and the it, part when the camera stops and he goes, "Psych." The yeah, that, that's the only context that could change everything. All right. <laughs> yeah. can, can, continue on, Bosh. <laughs> to care about is usually a product of our own internal biases. And I choose to care about all of it, to address it systemically, rather than fuss over the individual mm -hmm. instances of me choosing to purchase things ethically. Why not um, do both? You can do both. Again, like, they'll say you take it out of context, you're misrepresenting. It's such dumb fucking shit, dude. We know exactly what you're saying. And he just cares so much. Bro, I just care about both. He cares about everything. All right, so, sh so whatever, that's him. Um, here he is saying vegan, we need okay. To purge vegan the games. Toxicity. An interesting character. So, you know, there's is debating him and asking him an uh, interesting question. Pedophiles, right, who buy child pornography, <clears throat> would you say they should not be held responsible for doing that? Yes. Really? No Given... limitation, huh? No, <laughs> <laughs> so they're directly supporting child rape. Yeah, I think that's, it's, uh, it's hypocritical. If, if I, because I, I bought my computer and the silicon in it was farmed in Africa by slaves. Mm. Therefore, me buying CP, I'm just, look, I've already done the crime. Right. I'm just a little sprinkle of CP on there. Bro, you, your, your rationale is sick. He found a loophole in the rationale. Yeah, it's like, and somehow he thinks it, it lets him be like above it all too at the same time. Yeah, that Bro, was weird. you've got to listen to yourself. Why did he use himself as an example there? That's very sus. <laughs> I don't know why he did that. <laughs> Seems very obvious. I'm sorry, it looks like he's cosplaying as a pedophile right now. <laughs> oh, that's the context. Oh, okay, that does change it. Come on. So he like, takes off his wig and beard. If I can do that, and that's legal, that's... and no one's going to call me out on my shit, then yeah, I have to be consistent in that respect. That's okay, crazy. look, um, I, I think they're... Yeah, it's funny too, because he's like, and I bought my computer. Exactly. That's <laughs> exactly I bought my computer Wait, and did that crime. Yeah, he bought wanna, the chocolate. If bro. you like... want to be so consistent about it all, maybe avoid buying the computer with the... No, in it that's bad. Well, he, he can't. And look for the yeah. chocolate that's made mm -hmm. ethically. Like, go out of your way. He still bought the computer. Yeah, maybe he's like, I already got the computer, so that is. Okay, <laughs> might as well put some stuff on there. Save yeah. as. And here's one more clip of him. Yeah, there's also Vegan Gains also had a conversation with um with Xanderhal where he got Xanderhal to admit that if there was a farm, <laughs> if there was like a farm of like disabled people that are so disabled they've got no self consciousness, and there's a farm of these people on the other side of the moon where you couldn't see them, then it would be ethical to carve them up for meat and eat them. <laughs> like, that's a classic clip vegan begins moment too. But obviously I think this is obviously the more pressing concern. Um, um trying to rationalize a nice little with space. The five bucks. Yeah. Once yeah. the product is on the shelf, somewhere. it's gone through the supply chain already. Don't pin the producer's fault on the consumers, Jesus Christ. The five bucks. Well, consuming does do harm because you're giving money to the industry. I just don't think it's morally wrong. But yeah. Oh, is this the right spot? Chaos, the five bucks. So would you say the people who purchase child porn are just as bad as the people who sell it or no? <coughs> no, not not even slightly. I don't think that you should morally impugn anyone who purchases child porn for the same reason I wouldn't want to be morally impugned for buying clothing from companies that like use like- So you buy clothes- Why? Why? This is crazy! Why is he doing this? 
Maybe it is because he is trying to. You think that he's. You think that he's providing you cover for your unethical purchases, or maybe he's providing himself a cover for the fact that he's got a bunch of fucking weird shit on his computer, bro. Well, then. This is oh. the dumbest argument. But it's also a self-report. He goes, "I bought right. the. I bought this clothing. I don't want anyone to say anything. You know." And so, like, if I buy a little CP, what's the difference? I mean, motherfucker, you're justifying that shit. Stop. Stop laughing up too, dude. Slave labor to do so. Um, however, those who produce and sell the child porn, <laughs> that is an entirely different question. Mm. So that's why now you're able to, that. that's why he's able to live with himself. Those people are the <laughs> worst. Like, I'm not going out of my way. I'm just purchasing a commodity, guys. They're the ones that are making it. Take your issues up with them. I'm just purchasing a commodity. To record it or <laughs> to create butt, it. Those are the worst. I'm just, no, my I'm just right click saving. I'm one computer. of the good pedos. Crazy. I'm one of the dope ass fucking cool pedos. And also at the same time, you're creating this like safe environment for creeps. Yeah. To hear that it's okay. Rationalizing. Right. What doing that is the other. That is the other genuine issue too. I think it's worth bearing in mind. It's like, what impact is this having on fucking nonces? Are they listening to this and thinking, "Oh well, yeah, I'm golden." My streamer said. My streamer man said it's okay. I don't know. Bro. It's so crazy. Not that mm -hmm. bad. Mm -hmm. It's a horrible oh. thing, and people know that. That's why they need to rationalize it, so they can live with themselves. Mm -hmm. It might make you like really loyal to him. Right? Oh yeah, and him it might make you come in our chat and defend him. <laughs> right here, he is talking about um, his final clarification on CP. Um, sorry, I don't think that the consumption of the child pornography has anything to do with the inherent um, immorality of the production of child pornography. In case there are people in chat with brainworms who don't know this, the production of child immorality is a horrendous crime, <laughs> which is why it hasn't come up once in talking about the consumption of child pornography. Like having the pictures, you know, the pictures that you could literally take one of and then have disseminated to 10,000 people with no reproduction of the original event. This motherfucker. Is... He's talking about someone's child, by He's the way. way too detailed. Dude, that's insane! What about the impact on the person that's been fucking abused knowing that this is happening? Knowing that there's images of you in the worst possible moment of your life getting abused and it's being consumed by sickos on the internet, getting endlessly reproduced without even in control over it. Alright, dude. Where's the context for this one exactly? And beyond that as well, putting that to one side, what about the impact it's having on you having it, looking at it, consuming it too? What about the impact of that? I, I hate this idea that, you know, the impact on the self is null and void and not worth considering, but it absolutely fucking is. Obviously, the bigger issue is the fact that, that kiddies are getting hurt to produce this stuff in the first place. But like, even with the cartoon stuff, people write it off and go, oh, but no kid was hurt. Yeah, but what about what's it, what the impact it has on you? That matters to me as well. And I just think that's a terrible road to go down because the end result of that the risk of the end result of that is, is enormous. But anyway. He goes, yeah, you know, like, if you go on, like, uh, Napster and you download one and 40,000 other people downloaded it. <laughs> it's not like there's more child. It's just that one child being harmed. And it's not like the other people consuming this are going to want more of it. Right. You sick fuck. You dirty bitch. Um, he, says, he says condemning CP is some lib shit. P industry is being bolstered. Well, I'm concerned with the entire fucking capitalist economy being bolstered Ooh. and the moral hypocrisy that we perpetuate when we condemn people for for participating in industries that are really icky, like CP. But oh, it's just CP. CP it's just it's a little really <laughs> icky. Like he's patronizing people that care mm -hmm. about it. Yeah, like it's an icky. Asshole. And we just you know like oh whatever it's the rest of the industry. That that really strikes me the wrong way. To me, this strikes Shouldn't. this strikes to me as some lib shit. This is um. This is a tacit endorsement of, or at the very least, permission given to, um, the exploitative nature of capitalist industry. This when, is your brain on fucking communism, bro. Fuck we apply up. this <laughs> um, moral oh, condemnation to people who no. uh, contribute to certain industries, but then the rest of it we just give free fucking pass to. It's really fucking gross to me. It's like actually disgusting. So he's disgusted wow. by people that- Where the fuck did he even get these clips from? Where is this from, bro? This is crazy. I think there's a Reddit post maybe that's got all these clips on, but I these I I've never seen what is this? Look at the chat as well. All conservatives redact children, bro. That is fucking. Cool. <laughs> care about CP, but don't care about chocolate. 
I'm disgusted by you. All right. So how's that for a uh, little bingo bingo? Now here is um just one last thing. Here is his to be sorted folder from 2019. Oh, That's now boy. four years. <clears throat> so I was just going through the VOD from the Sonic trailer and Vosh showed us his image folders. Hopefully he will do live sorting of the to be sorted map. He says it's 98% porn, so probably not. 2019. What else is in the folder, Vosh? What else is in there? Moving on, now we're going to get to his response video. And this is my favorite part. I had to catch everybody up. But now let's see what he has to say for himself after I go pee. Oh, no. All right. Can I skip what this? If I don't know. <laughs> I suppose. I don't okay. really... <laughs> you guys deserve I, I do it need for to exposing skip ahead a bit, the so... worst lollipop. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Let's just skip ahead a bit. No, you didn't. <laughs> All right, let's move on. So here he is in his stream that he did on Friday. So at first, <laughs> surprise, surprise, he accuses me of clip chimping. Clip chimping. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Ethan Klein and his um, uh, friends over in the H3 pod dedicated about oh. two hours of the podcast to doing like a, like the platonic ideal of a bad faith Bosch is a pedophile takedown, including like, like everything, like, like a, Five years ago, like stuff that's been addressed so long that I mean, I didn't see it. I saw people in my Discord. This motherfucker oh, already sit there. I could not believe this. And tell me, I'm <laughs> right out of the gate that he didn't watch it. <clears throat> Talk it. about it. I didn't want to watch it myself, partly because it would just make me upset, and partly because I was getting a haircut at the time. Well, um, listen, I understand not wanting to watch something because it makes you upset, but at the same time, just at don't. At the same speak time, on if you are going to talk about it, it you yeah, kind of yeah, exactly. Gonna do if you're going to, if, if just ignore it. I know, like you either have to ignore it. And then just let it pass you by and just accept that you're going to be smeared as a fucking nonce forever. Or watch it, engage with the points. I mean, I don't think you can. I think it's fucked anyway. But like, at least you've got to watch it to know what they said to be able to respond to it. You know, and if you believe Discord are going to come to you and go, they were saying this, that and the other. Say, OK, well, can I have clips of that so I can see what exactly is happening? Do a H3 podcast after party. Yeah. Hey, What's happening here? Why? Who's dog. chewing on this? Oh, OK, he's done. Psycho. Don't mess with the button, doggy. Um, but like, it was it wasn't even like anything temporal. It was literally just like, fuck this guy. My understanding is that they were even doing like the Tacoma wept jokes and pretending that the Tacoma wept thing wasn't a joke. Like, like. Oh, the, I understand okay. you were trying to be like over the top and, and uh, silly, but it was still creepy and fucking weird, bro. Oh boy. Like, I, Tacoma I, just wept, and we ha don't take that from don't us. Don't gaslight <laughs> me, bro. I know what the hell you were. You know, you're trying to be like over the top and silly, but you meant what you said, bro. Tacoma he wept. Was, he was having like a heated back and forth. Yeah. That, he, that's what spurred that. I don't, I think he's lying. He's lying. He's yeah, not, he's he lying. wasn't joking. He well, told he, someone to do his research. I fuck all the time. I'm not monogamous. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. He's like, that's no. Embarrassing. He's like, they think that everyone in Tacoma actually cried. <laughs> <laughs> no, we know, we know <laughs> that that's, <laughs> hyperbole. Right. that's a hyperbole. I think that's literally. Well, yeah. God, yeah. The thing that people pretend to do where they see an obvious joke and act like I'm being serious Shut is a way up. of implying Dude, you that some, you know, like yeah. or whatever. So if it's reached that <laughs> level of like indiscriminate shit talking and smearing, then it's obviously not any kind of like pointed criticism. So with that with that in mind, like what do I even? What are? Why did you make this? <laughs> why did you come and do this? Right. Uh, if that was your your insight on it, but okay. Um, <clears throat> Chatter says, Vosh, you need to watch the podcast for the full context, and here's his response. You should really watch this segment. They didn't just watch the out of context clips. They watched some of the explanations too. Um, no. I, oh, pigeon. Jesus. Oh, okay. Left across the desk. Uh, no. I've done this so many times. So many times. Uh, like Why it's now? Been Why five is it years, now guys. that you're? I've done this so many times and no more. All of a sudden. Yet uh -huh. you've refused to come up with a logical defense that we think makes enough sense. Yeah, if you're being accused of something so yeah. serious, you think you'd want to watch so you can mm -hmm. defend it. Come on! Yeah. I give him space to talk. Yeah. Crazy. Sometimes it's just part of the job, even if you don't want to watch it. Right. I mean, mm -hmm. We've had to do stuff like that. Yeah. Of course. Uh, there is, I mean, obviously you don't need to respond to every Tom, Dick, and Harry that wants to fucking come at you, you know, if you don't want to. Like, you can ignore a lot of stuff. But when the biggest fucking show, the H3 show, is massive podcast is coming at you for this stuff, I think as part of your career, as part of your job. It's part of your fucking job, isn't it? You know, it's like a fucking, if you work a normal job, you know, you got to have a conversation with the boss because you fucked up and you realize that, you know, you've, do you know what I mean? There's something like that. Like you have to deal with stuff that you don't want to deal with in the course of your day-to-day -day activities sometimes. And it shit sucks, but that's just the nature of the beast. And to completely shirk from that because it's going to feel bad watching it just seems very cringe. Then he, oh, here. Five years I've done this, and every time it's the same thing. Every time uh, things go down this road, it's always the same collection of like 
<laughs> really <laughs> no, aggressively no shit, bad bro. faith, obviously dishonest. You know, I think at one point, I, I saw this in the, the Discord. Somebody said that Ethan said that I had like a folder full of CP or something. What the fuck? Like, wh what bro, am if I like? If you're gonna say that, you've got to at least know what the fuck you're talking about. What is there to respond to when that's the level? Like, that's the degree of. Here he is with another uh, outrageous claim based on, I guess, a chatter. The bridge, they said Bosch would probably rape real children. Yeah, there was a degree of bad faith there that is not like... He said, somebody said what? we were saying Addressable rape on my real end, children. You know? It's like, uh, from my side Dude, of the what? river... what? Nobody said that, as far as I can remember. Um, here he talks about, Ethan betrayed me. We were friends. That's crazy. I watched that whole stream, and at no point did it say anything like that. What the fuck? Mostly just really saddening, because I thought that um, <coughs> Ethan Klein and I were on good terms, which I know he made fun of. I think at some point he was like, huh, as if I would ever be friends with this pedophile, which is really disingenuous. Bro, and he never said anything like that. Dude, this is crazy. I didn't say that. So it's, it's, it's what's this? I okay. can't heard from people in the comments. He's talking in so much detail. Yeah. It's like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, he's right. Exactly. Well. Like we talked on Twitter. Of the show I forgot guy. about that bit. Yeah, well, I'm a cartoon character. I'm a cartoon <laughs> snake. You know. Gems, he was really friendly to me. Uh, back when I had a channel strike, he um, talked with me about offering to give me access to his content manager on YouTube. Wow, so I did something nice for you, and therefore... Like, bro, and by the way, I help people all the time whenever I can with video and IP and YouTube shit, because I know how bad it sucks, and when I've been in positions where I don't, I help everybody you with that shit. You've helped you people who yeah. were considered enemies. Who, yeah. who have a career out of talking shit yeah. about you, you've helped them. Yeah. I help everybody with that shit, because <laughs> I think it matters, okay? So yeah. me helping you yeah. with that... How are you gonna use that against me? Right. He helped me. <laughs> Yo, he helped me, bro. What a hypocrite. What the fuck? So that I could deal with the strike better. <laughs> and just a little while ago when he was going through the rounds because he was doing like weird arguments with Hassan about Zionism or whatever, he, he didn't like a tweet that I had liked. So he reached out to me and asked me about it. We talked for a bit and I disagreed with him, but eventually I moved <sighs> over and said, oh, okay, and I unliked the tweet at his request. So like every engagement- Yeah, that was before, like, yeah, I reached out because I didn't want, he was liking something, I don't remember what it was, but we talked and he's like, okay, I think you're right, I'll unlike it. And, and I was like, okay, cool, that was nice. Um, that was before the Lolly folder and all this other shit, frankly, oh, I didn't know about boy. most of it. But you know what I mean, dude, shit change, you know, shit changes. Shit happens, bro. Sometimes your lolly folder gets leaked. <laughs> things change afterwards. No. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, I'm just trying to get through this now, because I'm He says he's okay with sadly. Ethan Klein's betrayal. Vosh watches lolly, why does he call Nazis pedos? <laughs> to be honest, in addition to the Ethan Klein, what I would call betrayal, I'm okay with calling that. Um, you know, betrayal. one of the things that really bothers me you. is that a lot of these lollicons genuinely seem to think that everyone is a lolly. They're doing, I said this before, they're doing the thing that racists do with is racism, saying... where they think that everyone is racist secretly. They're just the one with the balls to, like, admit it. So a lot of these lollicons think that everyone is, but, like... Is he I don't know what about he's me? talking about. They're the only ones with the stones to own up to it or whatever. And, 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 you know, I think he's talking about the fact... So basically, another dynamic here is that lollicons on the internet, on Twitter and stuff, going after Vosh because Vosh has made lots of criticisms of lolly porn and now they're like hang on a minute you've gone after us and now here you are with it on your computer that's pretty fucking hypocritical so now he is trying to do this thing where he's acting like these lollicons are just saying that he's a lollicon out of nowhere because they're lollicons but no they're calling you a lollicon because you had lollicon porn on your fucking hard drive bro <laughs> Obviously, this is like genuinely repulsive, but sure. I don't understand that one. All right, I'm gonna move on. Here's the Dan conspiracy. What? This is the good shit. <laughs> so Vosh is like, how did this happen? I, there must be some explanation. I do think to some level Dan is orchestrating it. And Ethan could be convinced <laughs> in a conversation. I, I, I because don't know. Because it couldn't be I my best friend Dan... Ethan. <laughs> yeah. Dude, right. my best friend Ethan would never betray me. Unless <laughs> it was Dan. Dan. That's crazy. That's why, like, yeah, when oh, dudes will blame no. like a girl's girlfriends for her doing or oh, doing something or thinking boy. some way, like whenever she stands up for herself, oh, who's telling you this? Who's mm -hmm. making you think this way? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that I have no agency. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I'm the puppet like, uh, Your response, Dan? On the string. That's right. <laughs> Giddy up, That's girl. right, giddy up, motherfuckers. A son <laughs> fan, and he doesn't like me. Oh wait, he says you're a Hassan fan too. <laughs> Right, so, okay, I so think first of all, I actually didn't even know that Hassan didn't like this guy, um, because Hassan never talks about him. Mm -hmm. um, which, evidently, I learned this weekend, I was Ooh. watching Hassan's stream, and <laughs> Bosch hates him to the extent, like, maybe not hates him, but criticize him all the time, like, he I was being serious when they, they all hate each other. Yeah, he pulled it's up for, he yeah. pulled up Vosh's channel and searched his That's own name, true. and there was like each other. so <laughs> many videos. And then he went to his own channel and searched Vosh's name, and there was nothing. Mm -hmm. um, so, that doesn't really check out because yeah, I, I wasn't I wasn't even aware that he didn't like you. Um, and I worked mm. with the guy. Sounds it's like, just like you just don't come up, dude. I, I don't know who you are. I didn't orchestrate anything. Ethan's the one that stumbled upon. Oh, I don't know, man. When I was dude, a... it's like 
the getting the boot in. I don't even know who you are as well. <laughs> this is clearly a case. I mean, listen, dang, th this could be dishonest. Maybe, maybe they're being dishonest about this. Perhaps there's a possibility. I think what's more likely to me is that Vosh has just got a much higher opinion of himself than I think is warranted. And he thinks he's a talk in a town amongst all these other lefties. And it just doesn't seem to be the case, which is not that surprising considering he doesn't really reach out and speak with them in any substantive way. So it's like, yeah, of course, I'm not going to know who you are because from the sounds of it, you've been on your little portrait arc. In the bathroom, <laughs> you and my son had some time to work shit out months and yeah, ago. Again, the, the only I'll, I'll cop to, I was familiar with Tacoma Wept and I thought that clip was funny. But I, Ethan, I showed that to you really recently, right? Yes. Like a month ago. Yeah. Just coincidentally. Yeah. It like came up or something, and I was like, "Have you ever seen this clip of the watch guy?" <laughs> yeah, Tacoma wept. So, anyways, that's that's it. That's the extent of my involvement. Everything else you, you can talk to Ethan about. Thank Figure you. it out with him. There it is. So, so he claims. So he claims. I don't know. That, that was pretty snakeish. Snake or cartoonish, bro. Yeah. And Ethan could be convinced in a conversation. I, I, I don't know. I know that Dan is like a Hassan fan, and he doesn't like me. And I, I've known that for a while. I heard from some people in Discord See, that he I'm was that for a while. Not... You've known that for a while. Dan, you've <laughs> been on his radar. <laughs> We've never talked about him on never this show. Never talked about until it. Friday. This was the first time. Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe I was like, oh yeah, Vosh, she's okay, or something like that, like in passing, <gasps> but not more than that. Not know me. <laughs> like, and again, separating like Savage. I was him cringy because of the Tacoma clip. But I had seen a couple of his videos over the years, commentary videos, if it was on a topic I was inter interested in. Right. And like you, Ethan, it was like, it was fine. I don't yeah. know, yeah. it was, yeah. wasn't a favorite creator of mine, like but... It's like, based on the topic, sometimes he'll yeah. clip his clips and he has you a good end take. up watching it. Yeah, yeah. That's and that's fine. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I guess a perception that some people have led me to believe that I don't know is true is that he fucking despises me, and he kind of like, set nah. this up for the dislike, <laughs> nah. uh, but he wants to pretend that his hands are off it. I don't know if that's true or not. I mean, I know that people... Dang it. Listen to what a moron you are, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> why? Talk about bad faith, right? Like, because exactly. of what your weird you little, like, Talk about poisoning the well. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he may have set this up. I don't know. <laughs> he may have been not liking me for a while and all this and all that, but I don't know. Okay. Well, Dan, I, I, I'm curious to know what he thinks that looked like, Dude, where Dan so secretly to orchestrated to his lollipop being leaked. <laughs> That's what's bad. I will get like, to the... <laughs> he did this. He After this, this, I will still get to the two mad stuff because I really want to cover some of that today, but I've got loads more content for tomorrow as yeah. well. So. Yeah. so Dan, um, he calls you a I think he called you a tanky, Dan. <laughs> they literally pulled up your debate with non-compete from non-compete's POV and they agreed with him. So by they, you mean Dan, right? Non-compete is like a tanky <laughs> YouTuber that Ethan and my eyes <laughs> probably wouldn't engage with. And my channel it? is far larger yeah. than his. So if you, and they both contain the same content. So the only reason you would get that content from his stream rather than mine, uh, kind of suggests that there was some kind of like prior bias there. I don't know. It's, what are uh, you man, talking it just, about? It feels so disingenuous. I see what, what he's what, trying what? to say. He's trying to say one of the clips that we have was from like a very small creator mm -hmm. that we must be, or I guess me personally must be a fan of, because how else would we source it from them? So I didn't source that clip and I don't know who you're talking about. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> it's it's well, given uh, who Dan, is, is. Dan is jealous of me. It's so, like, I, I watched that and knowing who non-compete is, I was like, oh God, I hope they don't fucking, non-compete's a fucking retard as well. He's a fucking idiot. But the whole point they were making is that non-compete was reasonable to not want to engage with a hypothetical and Vosh was insistent about it. And that was it. There was no comment on, uh, beyond that from non-compete and his takes. And they're probably not going to get into the fucking weeds of what non-compete was talking about anyway, because that's not what the point of it is. Um, I doubt very much that people are walking away from that stream and thinking, oh, I'm going to go check this non-compete guy out. I mean, I don't even think they said his fucking name or pointed out who he was in any meaningful way. Me? Yeah. <laughs> True. So and my, that's... Uh, and my, my forefathers may have been tankies, but I, I don't think I would self-describe myself as a tanky so i'm gonna have to test i'm gonna have to do it are you gonna cover the future probably it's at the bottom of my list okay listen i'm sorry to break it to you i know some of you love the fucking um club show stuff and i like dipping my toe into it okay but the reality of it is there are other fucking oh shit i just spat on my keyboard oh my god i'm so gross Ugh! i just spat everywhere i'm so angry but look Unfortunately, there's other other more pressing matters that I'm interested in, but I will probably get to it at some point, okay? Tanky test on you. <laughs> Tanky test. Do you think China is entitled to Taiwan? You're asking me? Yeah. Uh, no, no. There you go. That's it. See how easy? Let's go. <laughs> <Pretty> fast. <laughs> um, horse explanation. Here he explains uh, that you would have to be willfully dishonest to accuse him of being into horses. One of the things that they did, which, and by the way, I'm hearing this secondhand. We know. I'm hearing this secondhand, so I, I admit, if I'm wrong, 
uh, then that's on me. I don't want to watch it. Honestly, it would just upset me. But, but you're already upset. But then don't do all this. You're already upset. They acted. He's up. He's mad. As though yeah. the whole horse thing was some kind of like secret that I'm trying to play off. This he, as a he joke. loves this point. This oh, they thought they're pretending like me being openly a pervert. <laughs> oh. So I'm been openly a pervert. Why are they trying to pretend like I've been secretly a pervert? It's like, okay, dude. Like, they were like, ah, we found out like he really does like horse dicks or whatever. Which, to construct that impression, you would need to be willfully dishonest. I have emotes. Bro, I just saw a folder with horse porn in it, man. It was really not more complicated than that, you know. Making fun of it. Like, 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 I, like that is a, a level of willful dishonesty that I think it's, it's stuff like that, you know, because it means there's no real sincere effort at, at I don't know, <coughs> engaging with or uncovering any kind of drama. Um, it's just an effort at like character assassination. Wrong. Are you and then so here's, uh, let's see, 22 um, minutes Oof. later, he says this Ooh, interesting uh, 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 little bit. We can't let this, we can't let this be smeared, okay? If, to whatever extent, you know, people can say, uh, oh, he plays it off as this or that, okay? I'll make it clear. You can write this down. I want to fuck a woman as a horse. None of this is a secret. I just, to be clear, Okay, you know? so let's do the math on this. He doesn't, he wants By to By the be... way, to be clear as well, this also, knowing those messages a bit, I don't even think that's true. I think there's messages where he's talked about wanting to also be the fucky of the horse cock. <laughs> The horse. Okay. So oh in the God. folder. By the way, interviews. after this and after the two mad stuff, I'm ending stream a bit early because I'm actually going to go see some friends. I've got a friend. He's like a lefty. He's like a well-read lefty. He's read the Marx, Marx shit and all this kind of thing. But he's not like soy. He's like pretty based. But we sometimes talk about the online shit. And he is. Or, or, whenever we see each other, we've not seen each other for years. But he's always gobsmacked. He's moved in nearby. But he's always gobsmacked about how insane it is. Right. And so I'm literally looking forward to the Vosh discourse because he probably has got some insight into it. He knows a little bit about the online world. So I'm, I'm fascinated to see what his and uh, whoever else is there's take is on this story. But yeah. Wait, what? The horse be the horse. None of this is a secret. I just to be clear. Okay. You know? so let's do the math on this. He doesn't, he wants to be the horse. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in the folder, date. there's Start images date. of a horse a fucking a child. Therefore, <laughs> if we're going to do the math, He's the horse. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. You know what I mean? A I mean, do I need to say it? No. no definitely not. No. You know, if he's the horse, and the horse is fucking a kid. You know? <laughs> that's just kind of what it is there, brother. <laughs> no! Destroyed. Um, Hoisted by his own petard. Uh -oh. That makes sense! Here he explains. <laughs> this is the worst this part. Is the, this is everyone's favorite part, yeah. <laughs> Framing. Uh, I'll, I mean, I'll explain the whole thing. For those who don't know, four <laughs> days ago, I was doing what I do, which is showing chat men's formal wear and talking at them about it for hours on end. And I was gonna open up an image with right click open a new window, but instead I did right click save as. And it opened a folder called to be sorted. The to be sorted folder, which is where I put images that have yet to be sorted, and which is by his own, indicate that, oh. which is by his own admission 98% porn. Uh -huh. <laughs> the place that it went to because the file type of the image, which was like, I don't know, JPEG or something? Oh, fuck, I don't know. No. Um, the last image that I saved to the to be sorted folder was an image of Marcel from Dungeon Meshi being roasted by um, uh, Gordon Ramsay while cooking a mandrake. Hold on. He's doing this thing where he's like, it's okay. not about that one. No. Nobody fucking cares about that one. Yeah, Nobody. Yes. What the I didn't fuck even, did he I, just say that? He's trying to make You're it spend all this time talking about the stuff that exists that no one cares about. Like, no one's going to care about non safe for work stuff. It's the horse cock lollicon shit that people are obviously having discussion about, right? Yeah, we don't care about that. Why were there lollies there, bro? Well, obviously he says it was an accident, but ridiculous and absurd. But it, it, it's this obfuscation. You know, I'm going to focus on the things that don't matter to try and move people away from the conversation that does matter and the one that people are talking about. I mean, like, yeah, no. I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't remember because it doesn't matter. Just, I'm curious what he means. He shows it. He shows it. Okay, I got it. But like, dude, this pain. is not... He's like, I'll movie. explain it all. Yeah, you know so I mean, anyway, right? it was just a Marceau... cartoon Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, we don't care Gordon about that one, bro. Ramsey. Stop trying to. There we go. Off you skate, you bitch. Yes, off you skate. True. Show it. See, I'm innocent. It's a good anime, guys, yeah. and a good manga. I'm anyway, innocent. I'm what about the other ones? Um, what about the one and it opened up the uh, uh, the folder. Yeah, like the uh, there's like 95 percent are porn. Let's talk yeah. about those preview, which showed thumbnails of images <laughs> that I had in there. A lot of which were pornographic. Most of which, okay. though, there were some non-pornographic images, including Reagan Ripley. Don't we don't care. care. We, we don't, don't care. care. Do not care. Don't care about those. Those what do not bother me about? at all, man. You know what? Don't care. Inside job, standing around Irrelevant. in a bikini. I think. Oh my god. Um, and 
non-pornographic canon images of Raru. Mm. See, from... the thing is, I guess that what they're trying to do, because obviously people have been characterized it in a certain way, right? But it's kind of like the ship of Theseus, but for a porno folder, okay? Right? So how many Lollicon images does your porno folder have to have in it before you can say that's a Lollicon porno folder? Okay? Is it one? Is that enough? Is it two? Is it three? Is it a percentage? But I just think it's reasonable to characterize it as you had a folder which included Lollicon horse court pornography. If someone wants to say it was full of it or something like that, okay, sure, we can argue against that if we're being very realistic about it. But the, the truth of it is, I think just one Lollicon image or one horse cock image or both is adequate to characterize it in you know that way because it shouldn't be in there at all as far as I'm concerned, right? Anyway, we the Legend of don't Zelda Tears care. Of the Kingdom, don't talk which is about funny that one. because there are far more pornographic images of Raru in no, there than there are funny. non pornographic images. Yeah, but cares? honestly, nobody <laughs> cares about King Raru. <laughs> Raru. Oh, wait. Bosh, Ethan, I'm reading one of the comments. I just saw my name. Bosh, Ethan literally went through each image that you showed <laughs> and discussed them, but then afterward acted like it was all pedo shit. Well, some of it was. Is, yeah. you, is, is, is one not enough? Yeah, Bro, one, he only had one right. pedo image. All he right. admits to two of them being. Yeah, he admits it in this video. Yeah. It so, just looks so much. good that even non-pornographic <laughs> images feel pornographic to me. Yeah, an innately Talk pornographic character design. <laughs> Thank you. Why did you keep your porn in this computer? It's to be sorted. You, I'm not arguing this with you guys anymore, okay? Oh, yeah, boy. we get it. The most potent roasting, you know? Oh, well, why even say it? I don't want to argue with you guys about it, okay? Because it's a to be sorted folder, which had the taxes in it, you know, whatever. Also, which need to be sorted. I, I, I don't get what's complicated oh. about it. Um, Rough response. Anyway, of the images that showed, two of them were from the same artist. Two of them, those from that artist, <laughs> that artist turned out to be a lollicon. Oh. Case closed. <laughs> GG. Oh, whoops. So, like, listen, I'm not familiar with this, but if you are an artist that specializes in lollicon, as they call it, and they draw, and I saw this image, and I was like, wow, that's pedo shit. <sighs> what are the chances that Bosch looked at this image, a professional lollicon artist, He's like, I'm the best at doing this. Nobody ever mistakes <laughs> this shit for anything but kids. He goes, yeah, no, I didn't no. know. I knew, and I don't know shit. <sighs> One of the two- Like, the fact that it's a Lollicon artist kind of removes the benefit of the doubt there, buddy. Yeah. Images, as far- Now, unfortunately, talking about this is always like a double-edged sword because- It's such a stupid- Like, why not just say it was in the To Be Sorted folder because my downloads automatically go in there, right? And, uh, you know- I, was, I accidentally downloaded one, I didn't realize, and now it's obviously deleted. It just feels like he's kind of half caught come up with a response, and there's a bunch of responses which are also probably lie, which would have been lies in my opinion, but would have been more believable than what he came up with, which is that he thought it was sort of short stack goblin porn. This is the ultimate L for Vosh in the way that he thinks he can just wing it, right? This is going and debating a guy that's got expertise in the gender conversation, it has got a fucking PowerPoint, and going on about Aqua. Pedo edition, okay? This is the same hubris and the same ego coming into play, but around um, a topic that is completely destructive to your career. You know, you go into an argument half cocked, half horse cocked about gender and you look stupid. You go into a, you know, a stream half cocked in regards to your lollicon on your horse porn folder or whatever, right? <laughs> and like, it's just career destruction. Oh, bro, this is so bad. Why? Why, Vosh? Why? Because I can't show to defend myself, nor would I encourage you to go look it up because this is a lollicon oh. artist, so I don't... <laughs> <laughs> and you had that shit. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's good idea. Like, mm -hmm. Want to direct you to that, you know? But one of them, one of the two images from this lollicon artist, okay? To be clear, one of them flatly did not look like lollicon. I'm sorry, you can say it's offensive. I think that's bullshit. I literally... Bro, I don't believe you. They're a lollicon artist. That's it. The fact that there was even any room for air means you're fucking lying. We went back and looked. The chick is like six heads tall. She literally, like, it's like, apparently, the reason why people have said that is because... Weird ass thing. Is that how people describe... Not normal people. No one I know. Age. That is, actually, I think, did Brittany Venti, I think, shared the meme, but it's the idea of how many heads tall someone is is indicative of whether or not you're a nonce for looking at them or something. <laughs> six heads tall. Are you them shapes? Adult heads or child heads? How old right. are you now? I'm six oh. heads tall. Oh, no. So he's basically saying, oh yeah, it was lolly porn, but she did look pretty old for being lolly. Bro, yeah. I saw that shit. fucking insane. Dude. She was yeah. a mature baby. You yeah. downloaded lolly porn. And by the way, once again, you had two images from this artist in the peak, 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 peak tip of Mount Everest that is your 
five-year-old porn collection going back to right. 2019. Right. To be sorted. Bro has his pedal jacket tailor fitted, dude. That's, <laughs> that's what's up, bro. He's got his like name in, 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 yeah. embroidered and shit. Custom made. <laughs> But this is the best part. Everybody listen up. This is oh, it's a common it's a tool in illustration. Okay, fair enough. This is just an art term. So maybe it's unreasonable to, because they just sort of acted like it was a crazy thing. I think in the context of talking about whether or not it's lolly, it takes on a different weird context, but it's not that big a deal. There's way worse things here to look Drawing at. Drawing of <coughs> a, um, a VTuber. Uh, uh, and the VTuber is usually drawn as a lolly. But in that case, that's blaming me for a drawing that's not the drawing that was in there. So Bro, if you fucking what? knew the VTuber and they're usually drawn as a lolly, what are you doing, brother? What are you talking about? Why the fuck are you lying? Why are you always lying? Oh, oh my god. Stop fucking lying. Nice return. I haven't heard that one in a minute. <laughs> so I don't, I just, I, I completely reject that line of logic. It just looked like a normal drawing. No, um, definitely not. Hope it's all okay or none of it is okay. What does that mean? What where's are you talking about? I don't. I don't even know what you mean when you say that. Where's the goblin part? Right. Where I don't like it. This is exact. So this is one of the reasons why stuff like this is impossible to clarify because even talking about it comes across as like crazy defensive or whatever, right? Yep. But what? What, am, what else am I supposed to do? Stop doing it. Mm. Stop downloading <laughs> Lolly. Yeah, just don't. <laughs> <laughs> Let people like Ethan Klein lie and say that it was all like a folder full of lolicon or just explain it, you know? Anyway, I explained it better than you have. One of the two <laughs> images uh, just flatly didn't look like lolly. I don't give a shit. Uh, <laughs> okay. uh, it, it, like cope, die, I just don't care. Like disingenuous shit, you know? It's like, I the know. other Dude, one right um, is like a threesome with two chicks and a guy. And in retrospect, looking at it, knowing now that that artist is a lollicon, yeah, I can see it. <laughs> I mean, it see, I bro, like, I, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Dude, oh, come a on. Artist. If it's like... Even that close to being underage, then you kind of like if if there if you can miss like oh that might be lolly but I'm not sure then it's lolly, and you fuck you're a lollipop you saved brother. It. Not only did you, <laughs> look, <laughs> you saved it, it. you wanted it oh, forever. No. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want those kids to age. You wanted a snapshot of them now. Someone save me. Yeah, that yeah, I can see it. Oh. Is that really what the Voshite brain trust, the best the best excuse they could come up with? I mean, dude, obviously I've reacted to that bit already. It's just funny watching them react to it and, and seeing their response and just, it adds to the absurdity of it, right? That was the threesome with, I, we, we're not sure if it was a horse, but we think it was. And also, I yeah, I mean, there's obviously other recent clips that have come up where it shows him criticizing Lolly. Is this the Asmongold video? If you want a special, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this uh, previous comments are just going to stitch him up as well. Special extra gameplay mode where a girl who looks like this gets to have extra outfits where her rage gauge fills up. Okay. This girl literally looks like that middle school girl in the anime made for pedophiles that I keep seeing images of that I will never watch. The one that has two metal hair clips, the, the one that always does a cat face, it literally looks like her. Yes, this is obviously, I'm sure you've seen it going around, the interstellar meme. Yes, it was a good meme. Good, good, good last had by all. But yeah, I mean, this is obviously very damning to Vosh's case that he's able to, to look at this and correctly establish and identify. And he even refers to it as what, a pedo anime thing. <laughs> Hence why the meme is so funny, because this is actually, when is the date of this? Look. This is 31st of January. This is literally two weeks ago. Or there are thereabouts when the stream was actually happened. Fuck. Dude, dude what? <laughs> it's nuts. Totally insane. Hoisted by your own petard. It was like a giant horse cock. And two oh. <laughs> young girls. I, I don't know. <laughs> That's not the one? Oh, there's so many good know, bees, man. I don't think it was the horse one that was. Mm. Dude, they wow. all look like kids. Yeah, this is like yeah, so they, yeah. yeah. they yeah. did. That's yeah. what I... Yeah. They, yeah. That's no, what I mean, it's a joke. Stupid. The whole thing is a joke. Is just, did, I, did I misunderstand him? Did he say that that Gordon Ramsay one was in that? Folder? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm not seeing that. I'm, right, I don't remember yeah. seeing Or maybe that. he said he was downloading, going to download it. I don't know. How do I make mm. he's, obviously, he's just filibustering. Everything yeah. looks like lolly shit. Two of them are confirmed. This is like this lolly is artist. Lolly explicitly that he thinks one of them doesn't look like kids. He but disagrees. Yeah, I he disagree with that. I reach and that. the other one is like, oh yeah, those are definitely. Kids. I see where they're <laughs> yeah, coming that from. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, guys, what are we arguing about here? Yeah, there's nothing. Ladies not and gentlemen, me. we got them. Capitalism did it. It wasn't me. Dude, society maybe want to fuck kids, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe that's dude, right, it's though. so maybe vicious, man. You still want to fuck kids though? So let's do something about Brutal. that. Brutal. Brutal. That's easier to change than society. True.
Let's see what I mean. Undoubtedly. Now the, with two chicks and a guy. And in retrospect, looking at it, knowing now that that artist is a lolicon, yeah, I can see it. When I oh. looked at it, I think the vibe that I got was like short stack thick kind of thing. You know what I mean? Uh, like the way <laughs> uh, like goblins that. get drawn in porn. You, you'll so, <laughs> Oh my god. So oh my he god. says, okay, well, yeah, so this one... <laughs> This one definitely looks like Lolly. <laughs> However, in my defense, I thought it was a goblin. Uh, <laughs> I thought I was looking at a goblin porn. No. You'll have to entertain no. me for a moment on this presumed shared knowledge of how <laughs> goblins get drawn in pornography. It's, but you know dude, it's so obviously bullshit. It's total bullshit. We know it's bullshit. Everyone knows it's total bullshit, man. Oh, dude. I don't know how they're all like thick short stacks, right? <laughs> no, no we don't know. Also, by the way, I obviously put my post out about this is what I got googling short stack goblins, and it was all adult looking goblins, right? Someone replied with a bunch of images. Some of them looked more adult, but one of them, maybe two, maybe one in particular, looked like very young. And I was thinking, yeah, if you, I can't show it on stream, obviously. And I, I thought, yeah, if you're jerking onto this. Yes, that's weird too. You shouldn't be jerking off to, to goblins that look like children either. I think that's probably bad news as well. Actually, you don't know how to look for porn. This is what a goblin shorts that and it looks like a kid. <laughs> yeah, that's bad too. So if that's what he's thinking of, that's also fucked as well. But, you know, it just it just seems like complete bullshit on the face of it. And... What, and that, from what I can tell, maybe there's some images like that, but there is also Goblin Short Stack where they're obviously adults and they are just thick, chunky. More importantly, they're fucking goblins! They're a literal goblin! Bro, <laughs> what do you mean? They're a literal goblin! You didn't have a goblin in that image! It was a goblin present! No. I got because in the image, the girl that's shown has super thick legs no. and has like tits and a belly. So no. that's just the vibe I got. No. But now, oh, knowing dude. that the artist is a lollicon, totally. which I have been roundly reminded of Total code. obviously knowing that it was intended to be a lolly drawing so like that's how it is right it's a drawing you get it without context i know i don't need context at all. it looks like <laughs> a child context by the, lolly now? the context is in the damn picture it's a child <laughs> fuck man yeah, who cares who painted it what the fuck oh it was drawn God, it was drawn by a context. professional that shit was no goblin too no that was <laughs> there no, was no goblin in there no we're goblin experts he's here. the only goblin i see <laughs> but uh well, he said he didn't say it was a goblin he said it's like you know how he's it comparing resembles a goblin to your uh, as he would put it, platonic ideal of a goblin. See? Yeah, the thing with goblins in, in like the games and shit like that, they're short. They are short. They are short. They are and, short. Are they green? Short but they're generally green. green. But right. when they're not green, they are just short. And what are shorts? Kids. Kids. Right. Yeah, yeah. Who else is short? Bam. Kids. Kids, yes. Checkmate. <laughs> kids or, green? unless it's a dwarf. But then dwarfs look, you know, they... You know, they still look kind of... Yeah, they don't look like kids, do they? They're like adult. They're short people. They're little adults, but shoot smaller. Halfling. Wasn't that the fucking thumbnail that TK put together? They're, they're not lollies. They're halflings. That was a banger. Mean? No. 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 Okay. Yeah. Checkmate. I think. <laughs> but when I saved them, I you saved them you, because buddy. both the drawings have like a meaty dick in it, and I'm a huge size queen. So, okay. like, you, learned that about him today. <laughs> you, you you look at it in retrospect, and it's like, okay, well, now with the broader context, I can it. understand how it comes off that way. Um, right. Even if initially or like, uh -oh. so let me get this. So straight. you should have just started with that and apologize and not call people liars. Why the fuck is he calling me a liar yeah. <laughs> and going on and on about all this shit when he just said, yeah, one of them was Lollicon. So what? Where does the conversation go from here? You said I'm right. You said you look at Lolly. Why are you saying mean things about me? <laughs> Stop saying Stop mean things. Stop calling me a snake. Stop it. Stop it. Stop calling me worm tongue. Stop it. At I'm first glance, the vibe would be more fictional. Stop it. What? You'll notice. <laughs> Has anything that I've just said sounded like it would even remotely convince the kind of people who are intent on smearing me? Convince me that you're not looking at Lolly when what? you say it's Lolly? <laughs> Why am I have to say Lolly so goddamn much? I actually want a lollipop now. Do we have any? Damn. Oh, they had I mean, horse. it's like, yeah, this this hodgepodge um, put together bullshit excuse that I've thought up in the time it's took me to get my hair cut to come into stream. You think that'll convince people? Well, no. And that's why it's insane that you thought you could wing this when the correct thing to do would have been, first of all, to own up to it and say what it was, which is you like looking at Lolly. You downloaded Lolly because you like it. And either say, I'm going to keep doing it because I don't think it's a problem and take the consequence of that or say it's wrong and fucked up. And I recognize that and I'm going to get help. OK, and fucking gone off for a bit.
But no, you thought you'd half cock it and be able to sail past this controversy when it was way bigger than you could ever fucking realize. And now it's blown up into this massive thing. And you didn't, you know, you, you let your audience jump on the grenade, but they've made it worse for you. Their innards are fucking blown up all over you. And now you've got even more mess that you need to fucking clean up. Crazy. Store. Oh, oh, real. Oh, 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 Bro, what the fuck are you doing? What are you talking about, man? What? You just... <laughs> <laughs> you just showed up to the Chris Hansen kitchen and sat, had a seat, man. And he's like, why are you judging me to Chris Hansen? Me over this. No, no and, and, and frankly, the effort to defend it from my perspective comes across as exactly <laughs> what you would expect. All right, so that was fun. I'm just going to blast through this. Here he says, don't do this to me during an election season. Hmm. <laughs> That's true. I guess I should yeah. care more about yeah. the, uh, the you movement. Know, the main thing I'm concerned with is... <laughs> oh, God, man. Frankly, no. there's just a lot of people in Ethan's audience no. who I think have the wrong idea about me. Yeah. And I think that some of them might be pulled over. You know, not all. The well's been pretty poisoned, but some of them. And I think it's important to do that, not only because you could have come on my show and done it. You could have mainlined right into him, man. You know, to me, from an obvious career perspective, no, no denying that, but also because it's an election year. You know, all hands <laughs> on deck. It Bro, is going you to be bad. Fought. We don't want your hands on deck. It is bad. You know, this is not the time that I want to be doing this kind of petty drama, circular firing squad bullshit. Dude, you are such a fucking loser. The election's all riding on you, Bob. Yeah, we don't. We're all counting on you. Uh, Biden boy. needs you. What will Tacoma vote for now? <laughs> I mean, Biden. you know, I obviously said this when I responded in or itself, but the best thing Bosch can do to help Biden get elected is to stay well away from any mainstream politics because that is a disastrous hot potato. I mean, what the fuck, man? Literally easiest opposition research you've ever seen. Oh, who's this Bosch guy? Oh, what's this podcast? Wait. He likes bestiality porn, and he had lolicon drawn image of a child. Get you know on the computer. <laughs> it's like fucking. Oh, let's go. Fucking easiest thing going. Um, yeah, it is completely disastrous. And if you outcome some of that, I just think you you cannot be anywhere near it. Your your time of any being anywhere close to mainstream politics is just toast. And it just it feels like he's not recognised that yet. I need you. Yeah. Well, here he says, I'm, I'm attacking him because I hate trans people. Interesting. That's what Keffels was trying to There's say. There's probably a large overlap, ectoplasmic. <laughs> I like the part where he said this is a pedophile community. Um, yeah, did, 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 he, uh, did he say that with regards to there being a lot of transgenders here? Is that what no. he meant? Mm, no. He no. Why did you think um, that? Definitely not. It's a weird assumption. No. First, first of all, bro, you may not know a lot about me, but unlike you, I am f actually for the trans. We have tons of trans audience, and we love them. Mm -hmm. and we do Pride Minute. One minute exactly, and then get out. But mm -hmm. we got a lot of trans people in yeah. our audience, man. Yeah, we, we do. Sure. Special. Yes, we yeah. Do. To be clear, the problem was the lolly. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. It was the people that like lolly. <laughs> right. That's not why we that called them pedophiles. Not that you have a lot of trans people in your audience. That's not an issue. It's the lolly. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the, the assumption, child pornography drawing. Yeah. The assumption in itself is extremely transphobic. No. For to yeah. say that. Right. It's. Very I've been seeing a lot of messages. And you, what, about, you know what? You may call it bad faith. <laughs> you yeah. may. I've lost faith. I have no faith. <laughs> I've seriously lost faith in God from this whole thing. Yeah, it's not great. That the was fantastic. Really? Yeah. Uh, another. And then here he says it's because he hates Israel. <laughs> this dude is grasping oh, at the no. most <laughs> insane straws. Uh oh. What if it's because you're pro-Palestine? No, no, no. It's nothing like that. Oh wait! Oh. The bridge can be mended. <laughs> no wait! Yeah, no, no, the exact no, opposite way. No, okay, no, no. So, no. so he said, "Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on." That was part uh -oh. one. That's part yeah. one. Oh. Then one point oh, five oh, hours later, <laughs> okay, he's changed his opinion. Guys, yeah. be very. I'm being very careful. My hate speech strike comes up in a week. I am not well in four in four days. In fact, I am not tempting fate with anything. I love, I love Israel. I love Israel. Gone. I love Israel. He, he's changed. He his also opinion. weirdly said you were one of Hassan's people. Okay, this had better not be some weird spite thing because I'm like anti-Israel or so. I don't know. Like that's weird. Like what? Where is that coming from? Yeah, it's not. He's just more confused about what the chatter's saying. Yeah. Well, yeah, okay, I right. never said that. Okay, he was one. But of yeah, did, uh, well, again, he's he's responding to all of this like third hand through like his yeah. chat or whatever. So like, I, I guess we would have to go back and look at what you said. <laughs> I think if we, that chatter was even right, but I think we lumped him in with streamers like us political, political streamers. streamers i mean yeah, yeah Bro, there's, so, there's more i mean what the fuck man there's like a lot more <laughs> well it is it's five. well after five and i know really you guys really have to go ten. so there's the one of him sexually harassing poppy who was a member of um i think it was destiny's discord uh -oh. where she where he was Probably like drama. really aggressively um 
uh, sexting her up in chat. And uh, like I said, Destiny had to ban him. The whole conversation is on the internet. It's really crazy. There's also bonus anti-Semitism memes. <laughs> like here. These are fast. These are fast. These are fast. Oh, so he did. She just mentions it. Okay. Yeah, I thought we might go into more substantive stuff. But yeah, I spoke on that earlier. I mean, like I say, I think there's going to be more content about that. And Jay Stork uploaded uh, Destiny's original coverage to his channel, if you want to see that. They're fast. <laughs> okay. JSTOK on Discord. YouTube. Force going to like Jewish chewing tobacco? That's fine. I don't care. Will you get me in good with the Jewish New World Order? If okay, I dude. Can I... Ethan Klein played it, so I can play it, surely. Obviously, I disavow. I do not believe in any J New Order. I think that's all stupid and dumb. Send no, dick no, pics? No, no, no. I mean, okay, he's being silly. Um... I'm actually in Hollywood right now, so if anyone wants to take down the Jewish media elite, let me know. Okay. And then here this person says, <coughs> Jews aren't humans, they're reptiles. This These are obviously Discord. jokes, though. I mean, and then he posts a picture of his lizard, my Jewish buddy, he says. Mm -hmm. Now, <coughs> listen, I'm not sensitive to this stuff. I really don't care. But as someone who represents the tolerant left, he's an Irish dude who's 0% Jewish. Do you really... You really think that you're in the right in a good position to be doing these kinds of jokes? Ooh, you know, there's more. Soy. Jews control. Hell, oh, this one's really wild. Now. Dude, this one's fucking nuts. <laughs> this guy's got this guy got Vosh really good. There's oh come on, man. That okay. I'm really gotta take issue with this fucking bullshit, man. That's not what was happening at all. This debate, right? Is the what Vosh was okay, dude, I can't even fucking remember what the points of this debate were, to be fair. Um, but yeah, I, I just remember that I remember non-complete being retarded in this debate. Let's see. I don't know who this guy is, but their ideology was not aligned with reality. How, how can you tell? Because Jews don't actually control banks in the world. There was a disproportionate number of Jewish control of banks in Germany during the Weimar Republic. All right, Vosh, we're done here. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. The point that Vosh is, the, okay. I remember covering this. The point that Vosh is making here is that even if what the Nazis thought was true was true. And there was, I think they were a bit overrepresented. <laughs> I don't know about it. I'm not going to speak on it. Okay. But the point Vosh is making is if it was true, it still would mean that they're wrong because you still shouldn't do what they did, even if they had control in that way. Because, you know, anyway, I listen. <laughs> I need, listen, I can't fucking talk on this, man. Okay. Four days. I love Israel. The Jewish people are gods are brilliant. Love them. I mean, I don't know if that's true or not, but like, again, just sugar on top, well, just yeah. a little sprinkle of powder. Mm -hmm. But like, first of all, they don't, they didn't control, you know, the Nazis were not correct about the Jewish people. I don't know if he was arguing like, well, <laughs> he kind of was think touched, like getting his toes wet a little bit there. Yeah. Well, you know, um, oh yeah. And the reason he got banned for Twitch is saying that we should nuke Israel, whatever. Also, there's one more for the road, more weird animal <laughs> shit. It's not just horses he wants to fuck. It's lizards. Oh no, the lizard. <clears throat> And one of my geckos will run down and jump on my dick. Oh, this like they're is giving rough. me a full body hand job. Yeah, consent is irrelevant for animals. Even pets get no say in being locked up, taken away, fixed, or euthanized. I don't think BCL should be a crime. <laughs> I put a gecko on my dick for a picture once and it licked it. Here he is with his geckos. Ew. Ew, it ah. looks like a goblin. These are, like... these are Discord conversations. <laughs> That's the same shit as him That's trying like to justify goblin. the yep. CP. Yep. Where he's like, no, 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 you can do this because because all of these horrible things yeah. take place in these normal. If you're gonna fucking eat hamburgers, then I have every right to fuck a horse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Sure, buddy. Whatever you want to do, man. Just fuck don't gecko shit. Tell me wild, you're not man. doing it. I see patterns. So, um, gosh, what was the other stuff? I guess the poppy stuff is the only thing we didn't get into. Actually, you know what? Here. This is so fast, and then I'll be done with the doc. Hours. I'm gonna be done with the doc. Oh. This is it. Here's the girl, Poppy. The conversation is long and it's well documented. You can read the whole thing, but this kind of uh, oh, summar it summarizes okay. it. Can someone give me a rundown on Vosh? I don't much about him, but lately I've been seeing several prominent lefties support him, while smaller lefties are accusing him of a sexual abuse. What's the deal? Here's the girl Poppy that was the victim. After I blocked him for trying to groom me, when I was going through a traumatic experience as an autistic young person, he told me he wanted to prolapse my anus and R-word me for months on end. Did not stop until mods got involved, and he never apologized. Jesus. Then I found out he was doing the same thing recently to a non-binary person I knew, but wasn't friendly with, and my heart sank. He outed me after I brought it to Destiny's attention. This happened in D's community, and leaked logs which contained my docs um yikes, yikes! and then she continues <clears throat> or actually yikes! this comes from vosh himself talking about poppy when this whole thing was going on and i encourage you guys all again to read the logs he says should i Ooh, add poppy in rough. dgg and tell her i'm onto her shit this person said no what the fuck and this person says what does that do for you might scare her into shutting up 
Because this was the other problem with the poppy stuff is he had to like a complete psycho afterwards and had to like a mafia fucking capo that wanted to keep her quiet and stuff. When Poppy, I don't know, I can't speak to all of Poppy's actions. I don't know if maybe there, there were times that, that she was, you know, doing stuff that was criticizable. But fundamentally, Poppy had a completely reasonable issue with what Vosh did. And to act like it was reasonable to go around trying to shut her up and then the comments he made about what launching a fatwa on her. And some of the other stuff, God, it was fucking grotesque, honestly. It was wild, yeah, definitely. I, I think, you know, for me, because I've known about it for years, you kind of just, well, yeah, it's a done drama and that's covered and that's fucking, what, 2019 that happened now? But I totally understand a new person coming to this is going to look at this and be like, what the fuck is all this, you know? So a fresh eyes are going to look at this and think it's dis disgusting. But obviously, if you know about this and you kind of heard about it and seen it play out, you know, you're kind of a bit desensitized to it, I guess. But, I mean, it was really fucked. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Well, so there you go, everybody. Thanks for watching. <laughs> um, that's just that one thing. I've heard, there's a few instances of him being, like, sexual harassy and discord and stuff. But there's your boy. There's your um, political uh, inspiration. People, the Voshites, the, the lollipops out there. This there we is go. Your we guy. As a Marxist Bidenist myself, it's very upsetting that you've ensured Donald Trump's election for this episode <laughs> today. It's very upsetting to me. Oh boy. Oh, what are we going to do without Bosch? Okay. Well, if anyone's going to legalize child porn, it's going to be Trump. Uh, probably. <laughs> it's a weird, it's a sideways play. Uh -huh. MAGA communism. Anyway, I think what we can, is... uh, I think we can wrap it up there because, yeah, I do. <laughs> I do still have time to do the two mad stuff. I'm supposed to be leaving in 45 minutes, so that's enough time to go for the two mad shit. I feel. I feel. Although there'll probably be plenty more tomorrow. More Bosch stuff. More two mad stuff. We've got two rate reviews to do as well. But we'll mix. We'll do some two mad stuff now. I said I'd do it, so we are going to do it. Okay. Oh God, what a fucking crazy, crazy piece of content, man.